What's up everybody? Welcome to part two of building a lightsaber with Chris from Sinister Props. Today we're gonna go through getting this board welded on. Is it gonna work in the end? I guess we're gonna find out. My name's Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. Like I said, today is gonna be part two. This is another long one. Uh, I just wanna say in the beginning here, thank you so much, Chris from Sinister Props from walking me through this, being very patient while I try to solder on both sides of this little tiny board. Uh, man, you were so patient. We took so much time to get to this point and I really appreciate your uh, guidance and your patience and thank you for walking me through this. So everybody else out there, stay tuned. This is part two. In the end, hopefully you'll see this thing um, functioning or not. I guess we'll find out. With that being said, let's do it. All right, we just started recording. Here we go. Well, I'm back for part number two of our lightsaber build. I'm with Chris from Sinister Props. How are you doing, Chris? I'm good. <laughs> we uh, we just got done with a hot mix episode where you showed Master Chief. It's right behind you. Mm -hmm. And that was a blast. And now you're about to make me cry. Um, no, I. Yep. If, if people remember the, the first part of this, I actually broke my first chassis in half. Uh, that's not this chassis, and it's not this chassis. Uh, it's the one I broke in half, and it did not. It was not recoverable. So what I did is I printed a new one, and I got back to where we were. Let me just show you what that looks like now. Um, you know, you know, Jim, it's not a proper lightsaber build unless something catastrophically fails at least once. <laughs> well, it did. It it was like broken <laughs> half, and it did not go well. I had to get a new speaker because I had to rip the other one out because we glued it in. Um, but right now, it looks, it feels good. The print is not great. So I cheated. I laid this down and gave it supports. Um, and I thought if the layer lines were going the long way, I can't, that would be a lot harder for me to break. Um, so I actually did that. And so the layer lines look crazy. A what did you bit print inside. in, Jim? I'm going to clean up a little more before we before I actually um, put it in. But I did slide in. It does fit. What did you what print it in? Um, this one, this one's PLA again. Oh, okay. Um, I also have this one, which is carbon fiber PETG. This one came Ooh. out really nice as well. Is that for the next install? Uh, probably. I started on this one and then I, I ran with it because the battery fit and I already tested it this time. <laughs> Cause last time, well, if you watched, you know that I put the battery in and broke this whole thing in half because I forced it. But um, Chris is here again with us. Thank you so much, Chris, for doing this with us. We we really appreciate, or I really appreciate this because you pretty much sponsored this. You you hooked me up with all the parts I need for this build um, at, at your cost, which I very much appreciate. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, without you, I definitely wouldn't be able to do this. <laughs> Steve is with me in the, in the studio tonight, too. He actually brought this little... Um, uh, what did you call this board? This is the test board. It's a breadboard. A breadboard. There you go. This little breadboard to test on. I did not test, as you can see this. So my soldering skills are this much better than before because I had to redo this. Um, so can you tell us uh, what what we're gonna do now? What's this? What's this part? <laughs> do you know what uh, the term the crux means? Per crux? What'd you say? Per crux? The, the crux. The crux. No, what does yes. that mean? The crux means that you're approaching the hardest part of oh, your excursion. Oh, I see what you're saying. The crux. Right? The, yeah, okay. Um, you're, you're reaching the hardest piece of the excursion. And essentially, what you're going to be doing now is um, we're going to be putting the board in. Did, did, I can't remember. Did we put the buttons in? We put the buttons in, right? I did. So um, off camera... Last time, you told me to, to push this in, get the wires from the piece that's in here through, fish the button in, and get those wires through. Yep. And I did that. That's what's in here now. So what I cheated. I took a very saw, small piece of gaff tape, as flat as I could. And no, I that's, how, that's, that's how you do it sometimes. Yeah. I, I It took me three minutes. It was the fastest part of this whole build so far. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's where I'm at now. The button's here. I'm, you know, I'm a little curious to how it fit. I mean, it doesn't push all the way down because of the curve is different, right? But it looks good. It's in, and this is a NeoPixel button too, right? Um, I think it is. Wait, zoom in on it. Zoom in on it. Like, get, oh. get me closer to it. 
it doesn't push all the way in well there's like a, a gap here i don't know if you can you see that why not it should uh maybe i'm a baby uh hang on let me let me let me do this so you can see it a little better so you see the that's oh, really shiny let me get you over here you see the this piece here yeah it's like i, I can see go the under yeah so it looks i mean this is flat and that is inlaid in there so it's flat on these two points <laughs> Oh, maybe I'm just not pushing it in far enough, or maybe. Interesting. Does that button just have like a higher level to it? Um, I don't know. It's hitting. It's hitting here and here. I mean, there are little things that you can put to like hide that seal. Sure. But if you're if you're content with how that's laying, then that's fine. <laughs> I am. Uh, I am not gonna. I'm not going to complain at this point on this saber. Maybe maybe on my next one I'll change it, you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me let me unsolo myself. There we go. So so we have it this far um in the in the sake of of time. I know the last one was like 3 hours long. So how are we how do we start? Where am I going? Yep. Sorry. I just made you full screen. It makes it a little easier for me to see. Um no, you're good. Do you good do? So, I got my I got my soldering iron here i got it heated up i got some sweet helping hands um, the helping hands Everybody the helping hands helping i got hands. new i got uh actual the same solder that i used last time that, that steve brought um i think I it's like 60 that, 40 or something i just realized that i this is all the solder that i have left <laughs> what? So, so yeah i've been busy um so, but don't worry because I will be focusing on your build regardless. So, <laughs> you have a, um, you, so, okay, so it's time to break out the soundboard. Um, oh gosh. I want to make sure that you have, um, before you get started, I want to make sure that you have uh, a pair of tweezers, uh, okay. that the tip on your, Soldering iron is very fine. Okay. Do you want me to uh, get the smaller? Do you want me to get the smaller tip on my soldering iron? I think I think we went a little point. bit bigger last I time. I want you to grab the grab the um the test board. Okay. The breadboard. And okay. then yep. Thank you, Steve, for the assist. And then yeah. um that's all slide across the table. Hey Steve. Can you go hit the sink with this? You know where the sink is, right? And then. Just... All right, I'm listening. And then I want you to um, to to zoom in and show me, like touch the tip of your soldering iron to one of the pads on the test board and show me how big it is. And I can tell you if it's big enough. <laughs> oh man, so many yeah. puns here. We're gonna be comparing so, sizes. Test board. Yep. Test board. Um, That's small see. enough. That's small enough. Tip. I can go in the hole there. Yep. If you can fit it in the hole, it'll work. There's your. There's that. I have a smaller tip, but I think last time we weren't getting great heat. Nope. Transfer. You're good with that. Okay. So so Steve just brought me some water. Do we? Are we going to use this? Uh, Let's see, soldering paste. No. Oh, that's a nice one, Steve. No soldering paste. Okay, no soldering paste. I'll do that just in case. I have this one too. <laughs> I actually have one built into the front. I'm fancy like that. Everybody's like, what are you talking about? There we go. All right. So I have uh, the tip. What else? Um, do you have super glue with you? I yes, I have this. I have some sweet CA glue, like last time. Okay, um, well, because you're going to be gluing a little bit of the soundboard to the side. Okay. So you okay. got to be really, really careful with how you apply it. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the epitome of careful in this project. <laughs> so, um, okay. 
let me grab a soundboard really quick. Yeah, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull mine out. I now officially have one of the soundboards out. So let me just show that on camera real quick. What does this look like? Um, hang on, I just turned my camera off. There we go. So this is the soundboard in question. It is a CFX uh, or Crystal Focus soundboard. Crystal I think it's Focus 10. 10? Is this a mm -hmm. 10 or a 9? or? A... It's a 10. This is a 10, okay. Crystal Focus X, yep, 10, that. So there's uh, that's the little baby soundboard, and you can see all the little tiny areas to solder on there. And that is my nemesis tonight, but we are going to conquer him or her, whatever You'll it is. Become your friend. I hope so. I, I cannot. I, I'm hoping at the end of this, are we going to be able to power something up? No, maybe. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> no, maybe. Okay, we'll we're going to try. Spoiler you alert. You know what? There's a good possibility that we could. Okay. Positive um, thoughts. I love it. So. Sorry, I was buying time. I was waiting for my soldering gun to heat up. Okay. Um, you know what would be really, really helpful here? Pulling up the CFX wiring manual for you to see. Um, Jim, that's probably a really, really good idea. Could I just go for it, LOL? <laughs> I told this other guy that they offered me the 80 or the 100 watt. Yeah. Um, and he just said, holy moly. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it at that because we're recording. <laughs> Good. All right. I ask, dude, that's crazy. Uh, okay. um, so what I need, I, I'll need my helping hands, right? Yeah, you're going to need, you're going to need everything. Uh, so you're going to need your lightsaber here too. Uh, Got it. So, okay. So Jim, I sent Jim just for the, the people in the audience. I sent Jim a, a soundboard with a, um, a very special technique that I applied to my lightsabers to prime prep them for install. Um, it is a very small wiring thing that I do. So, um, Jim's lightsaber is is ready for install and it it'll, it'll just take you know I took a good 20 or 30 minutes of work off of him and very very delicate very very delicate soldering I'm sure he can see that work on his end I can yeah mm -hmm. um, so, so what you mean is you took two or three hours of work off my <laughs> <laughs> you can bring a so, chair over if you want Steve so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to identify the pads that you're going to be working with. Hmm. We're going to talk about what they do. Okay. And why we're wiring it this way. Okay. I would normally say that, why do you need to know why, but you should know why. So, sure. okay. So, um, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to pull up. God, I wish yeah. I could like share my screen. Uh, Oh, I can share my screen. You can. Right? Yeah, yeah, you can share if you want to share. Let me let me pull up the wiring diagram. Just give me give me two seconds, Jim. Yeah, no problem. I'll so if you're watching up. at home, this is part two of a lightsaber build. Uh, the the chassis, which is the part here, is all 3D printed. Um, we we had to do it twice because I broke it the first time. Check out part one. We'll link it up here, um, or somewhere in the video. We'll link it. Um, but basically you had to do it twice. Now we're to the point where I have, uh, what is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I have 11 wires hanging out the side of this thing. Four of which are the switch I have on here. Um, and that's not a common thing. Actually, there's five, five wires on this switch. Um, and that's, I think a little bit different because a lot of people just have like a basic wire or a basic switch, right? Um, but this one, I believe, is a I believe this is a NeoPixel switch too. Yes, you have a NeoPixel switch. Oh and, boy! Oh boy! Well, at least it's, it's gonna wired. be fun. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. So uh, 
Yeah. So, so that's where we're at. Chris is going to share a wiring diagram with us so we can uh, check that out. Not a wiring start... diagram, but, but um, I'm going to be sharing my screen. I'm going to be sharing my main screen. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Um, actually, actually the Jedi master one. No, 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 no. Do the sinister main sinister props one. Okay. So, so he's going to, he's going to share a screen to, to kind of tell us, um, you know, where we're going to solder, why we're going to solder stuff to it. And, um, sometime after that, we're going to attempt to start soldering. And I'm, um, I'm really good at soldering. If you no, I'm not, I suck. Uh, so I'm, I'm a little nervous. Okay. Can you see it? Um, it's a screen oh yeah, hang oh. on real quick. There we go. Okay. Hey, there she is. So that is the board we have, and that yep, is. Let me get rid of my email. <laughs> so. Um... Okay. Okay. So you're looking at a CFX right here. Got it. Um, yeah, I don't actually know how much soldering I'm going to be doing myself personally. I might just be focusing on walking you through this. That That's totally okay with me. Because um, I didn't want to, you know, I would like to do it side by side with you, but I, I think it's just easier if I just focus on, on helping you yeah. directly instead of showing you, I can walk I think you you're, through. I think you're right. <laughs> so. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, so this is the underside of your board, right? Can you see my, you can see my mouse, correct? Yep. So if you're looking at my mouse, these three or four, there's four of them. Right. Are the MOSFETs. Okay. So I, I want you to have your board in your hand looking at this. You have it, Jim? I have it right here. Yes. Cool. Sweet. So if you'll notice, I bridged these MOSFETs. Uh, I see you bridged three of them, right? three of them yeah you don't need all four you can if you want to be special okay. or if you lose one you can tap yep. the third one in most neo pixel only needs three okay um that being said uh you know if you do lose one like i said you have an extra one and you just bridge it and then you bring the saber back to life again um but so what i did was i bridged those for you because i kept it pretty compact that being yeah. said that is where so take your take your lightsaber pick your lightsaber up too so okay. actually um if, if you could put your put your view on so that i can see your desk you can get okay. rid of my screens and just put that next to me next to this picture oh next to it okay hang on real quick so have your lightsaber have the soundboard and then keep the um the diagram up Um, let's see. I think we can do it this way. No, we can't. Well, we can do it that way. And then do you want to see a close up, like a GoPro close up? Oh, crap. I lost your audio. Hang on. I think your audio was here. Yeah, it is. Hang on. Uh, Let's do it this way. It's going to be That'll harder work. for you to see. Let's see if I can. What is going to be the best way to share? Because you want to see my desk mm -hmm. and this, right? Yep. Hmm. I'm not I want to sure. make sure you're grabbing the right wires. Got it. And I don't know if I can do that. Well, how about how about we do this? How about we bring up? We do it. I like got an this. idea. I got. What's that? Uh oh, I lost you. There you go. Can you hear me? Yeah. Wait, if I'm doing the screen share, I can't. Nah, yeah, you get a. Uh, we, I think the screen share doesn't get your audio. You might as well keep me on Jedi Method. Yep. Okay. There you go. Um, 
Let's do this. Dude. I will. How about this? You point out what you want me to see. I'll solo my screen like that, and Let's and bring it. in this and bring in this other camera like that. That's perfect. That works. And then, and then we can talk about that. Yeah. Perfect. Let's do okay. that. Okay. So, um, so, so we'll me, lay I'm, it all out. This is really okay. good for. So we'll lay it all out. This is really good for people who are tackling this install on their own as well. So, okay. So right here. So, okay, like I said, we got the three MOSFETs. These have all been bridged. These. Uh oh, I don't see your cursor. It's, you don't see it? No. Am I crazy? Oh, wait. Can you see it? There you go. It's back. My bad. That was dumb. I was doing it on the screen that we were on. <laughs> uh, nice. My bad. All right. Um, okay. So, these three right here. Yeah um these are the mosfets okay so your negative line the negative line from your anything neopixel is going to hit these okay not this these the three so you bridges could, you can solder to any one of these pads i like to solder if, if you're if you're doing if you're soldering from a um from a chat from that chassis that way that chassis is you can get a couple of pads on the positive on the top side so this is considered the top side of the board or wait no do they consider this the bottom side of the board i don't okay. know it's confusing i consider this the bottom side of the board some people consider the top side of the board you know tomato tomato um so this pad right here that i'm circling right here which is on the what i like to call the top side of the board Okay. I like to solder. I like to solder all of my negatives from my from my NeoPixel to this. You okay. would have two negatives from your NeoPixel. Okay. Right. You have two because you have one on your switch, and you got one on the the light yes. or the main light. Yeah. So I have one, and I don't. I imagine black is negative, right, or green. Black is negative. Green should be the data line. Okay, just making sure. So let me just get this tape off everything here because it's in my way. Um, so yeah, I have, uh, let's see. Whoa. I have. Bunch them together if you can. So the ones so, that are coming from the LED, kind of bend them aside. The ones um, that are coming from the switch, they should be a different gauge, so it should be easy to see them. Yeah, here, let me do this. So I have, I believe these five came from the switch. Then these three, no, these four came from the, uh, what, the, the other one we did, right? No, there should be three that come from the LED. Three should come from the LED. Black, oh, one, red. One is, a, one is a battery. One is a power line. Yeah. That's this one. So I can put those are you, aside. Are you sure? Are you sure that black line is the power line? Um, ninety-nine percent. Okay. If you if you're unsure, I you can it always... looks like I was gonna tin it. And the other you ones I never pop a battery in there and zap yourself really quick. Uh... Yeah, I didn't I didn't cut these yet. Okay. And these are the ones that came from that switch. I had to fish them through. Okay. So that's okay. So it looks like you got everything right there. Yep. So battery here. So we're going to have uh, to look up the switch wires because I'm, I know what three of them are, but I don't okay. know what purple is and it could be switch or it could be data out. Nice. But I'm sure the I, I remember I sent you the link to it. So you should, I should be able to sure. pull it up really quick. I just double checked. Because I don't want to solder anything, and I want to make you do yeah. any extra work. Um, so, in no, most cases, in most cases, you'll see people wire up the green. You'll notice that the green wire that I made you wire up is of a lower gauge, right? Um, or higher sure. gauge, sorry. Yeah. It's not as thick as the red or the black wire. It's uh, yes, you're right. Okay, it's slightly less thick. Here's so, what I'm going to do real quick. 
while we're talking, I'm going to take a piece of this gaff tape. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to tape very little bit um, on the power. So that stays away from me and by the side because we're not going to that's not going to go on that same pad, right? No. Okay. I'm just going to do cool. that for argument's sake because I don't want to get this confused. Good. Yeah, because okay. you start trimming them. Yeah. So so I we're not going to do it right now, but the first thing you're going to do is if you're looking, go back to my screen share. Okay. The very, very first one you're going to do is you're going to solder those negative lines to this. Okay. And you're going to see we're going to work our way down the board. Okay. Right? So you're going to solder the, the negative right here. The negative to the, from the NeoPixel to this pad right here. Okay. You know, or or you could reach it a little bit and hit this one. If you if you have two, so you have the ability to like you could reach the smaller one a little bit farther and hit this one. So, okay. And I have Here, a little bit of solder in that one already because you did the top part. Yeah. So you're just gonna put a dab of solder on the top. Yeah. And probably lay the wire flat like this way. Like it'll run like. You are not. You are primarily, we are not going to be sticking these wires in these holes. Okay. You're going to be, you're going to be using your helping hands to lay it on there and you're going to do a little dab of solder for just a second. Oh boy. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. And for this, for the small stuff, if you need Steve to help you, Steve can help you. <laughs> I might. <laughs> He's over here cringing. Uh, all right. Do you, you want to see start? this? Oh, you ahead. see this? No, we're not starting. We're going okay. over everything you're doing first. Okay. Because it's going to be one if you once you put that board in there, it's going to be really hard to explain the rest of this. <laughs> okay. Right? Or and deal with the wires. And you got to cut the wires too. So Okay, so that's the first that's two of the wires that you've got there. So that's progress. Second one is going to be your data line. The green ones. Okay? So, so they go right here. All right. I have one green one, right? Yes. This will be the hardest solder of the entire thing because oh, yeah. it it is the tightest space. This okay. will be right here. And okay. just so you're aware, you don't want to mess this up because the backup pad is – or sorry. Dude, I still have my thing on the wrong one. You see th this one right here? See yep. my cursor? Yes. So the this is the data line right here. Okay. So you're yep. going to put your negative lines here or here or here. You're going to put the data line goes right here. And you have the underside of the board or the top side of the board. But you got to make sure you don't put too much solder because you don't want to bridge any of these. You bridge any of these, they're not going to work. Got it. And if you mess this up, this is your backup plan. <laughs> and you don't want this to be your backup plan because no. I cringe at soldering to that. So yeah, I don't, I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, this whole section right here that you see, these are your accent led pads. You have NeoPixel LEDs. You have no accent LEDs. So no okay. one cares. You're not going to use these. Okay. Okay. Normally, normally you could, you would, I have my Graflex lightsaber uses every one of these pads. Gotcha. Um, uh, these three guys you're not going to use. I actually have no idea what they're for. Uh, this guy, gotcha. this guy right here, this is your negative in on this side of the board. Okay. okay. This is where the negative ends of your switches will go. The negative okay. end of the switch. Yes. So the negative one of the ends of your switch, just one, will go right here. Okay. But it'll go, it'll go on the underside of the board. I think you're kind of want to hit it on the underside of the board. You're going to want to solder it underneath. So you're going to put a dab of solder right here, and then you're going to run the line this way. Are you visualizing this at all? Trying to, yes. Uh, going back to your data line, actually, because I just forgot something, you're probably going to put one side of the data line on the top and probably the other side of the data line on the bottom. 
So you're oh, going to have to do this twice. Oh, man. Because of the switch that you have. Got it. So, okay, so we're moving on from that. And you also see why you this, see this is the second data line. There is just simply no soldering to the underside of the board on this one. Got it. it. Just don't even think about it. Because if you hit any, if you bridge any of these, it's game over. Yeah. <laughs> you brick the Got board. It. Got it. Yeah. So, okay, I'll go back up to the top. So, you're not going to use any of these guys. This right here, you see where it says ACT? Yep. On your board, that's oh your my. activation. So that's the other end of your switch. And I don't, okay. I don't. We'll, have, we'll look it up and see which one's yours. But that's right. where the other end of your switch goes. So your okay. switch will be wired, and this is this is. I would say this is the second hardest wire to install. This is the second hardest one. This is the only one that, if we're going to poke it through the hole, this is the only one we'll probably poke it through. Okay. Um, but we, one half of your switch goes here, the other half goes over here. Do you see that in your chassis, there's like these wire channels that you can kind of like yep. shove the wires down in there? Yeah. So those will come in real good handy. Oh, boy. You'll be tucking <laughs> stuff in. You'll be, yeah. But for the most part, most of the wires will run in the back side of this board. Right? Got okay. it. So... Moving on to the far end of the board. Moving on to the far end. Oh, boy. These two pads are very generous to to wire to. Okay. So yep. we will not be sticking anything through these holes. We will be tinning the pads and dropping the lines on them directly. Okay. This one on the outside is your positive. The one that's touching this big thing, the SD card slot, that's the negative. Okay. This is on two two sides of the board right here. Here they are right here, right? It says yep. power supply pads, negative, positive. Outside positive, inside negative. Got it. So the two things need to hit the positive pad, right? the positive power line, which is very easy to put on. And the last thing you will put on. Okay. The positive power was the last thing you will put on. Um, and then on the underside of the board, or if you don't like soldering here, sometimes depending on how I'm feeling, I run it. So the board will lay, the board will lay USB port side down. Okay. At least that's how I do it. I like to use the SD card more. Okay. Uh, it's just simpler, at least for sure. me for usage. So I run the board down. This positive pad. So what you'll have is you're going to have one wire. And if you can see, follow my mouse. You're, the positive wire from the NeoPixel, everything positive from the NeoPixel is going to have to run along this side of the board and hit right here. So the positive from the NeoPixels are going to hit right here. And on the other side of the board, on the top side, you're going to have the power touching here. So you're going to have three wires running to this pad. Great. On the negative, I'm excited. This one, on the negative is super easy because you just have the negative battery pad. Got it. And it, you'll, you're going to want to run it. Uh, along the channel and sometimes I like to loop it around and go to the top because it's easier to look from the top The negative wire will be hands down the easiest solder of the night and one of the last solders of the night. Okay Sweet. The last thing you'll be soldering are these two pads over here Okay These are the two speaker lines The speakers okay. are fun because it doesn't matter what side that you put it on it Doesn't matter which one they don't have to go to a certain direction you just have to make oh. sure you don't, nothing's touching. Got it. So you will be most likely soldering one side of the speaker to one side of the under pad and the other side of the speaker to the top half, just laying this way. Got it. But they, they the wires go this way. You know, there's two that just, the board will be facing downward. Got it. 
So I don't know if you're seeing those wires on your lightsaber and you're visualizing how this is going to be laid out. Yeah, I, I, I know my speakers are here. Everything else comes in this way. Um, I get I kind of follow you on which ones we're going to do first and where we're going to start. Um, yeah, I think I think uh, for me, it's just let's do this one and then let's do this one and then <laughs> you know what i mean yep i just wanted to walk you all through it so that you can lay in your head out which oh. wires are going where got it oh is my i got it i fixed it oh okay my bad um but yeah, i'm so, so... I, I i have a feeling what we'll do is when we start we'll do this and you can just walk me through Hundred percent. Right. Okay. Yep. So, are you ready for that? Am I ready for that? I I am. Give me give me one second as I pull up your. Uh... Oh, your wire. Yeah. Well, no, I'm pulling. I want to pull up your switch really quickly, and make sure that we're doing your switch right. Yes. Good idea. So so let me uh, let me just jump back in here real quick while you're doing that. I'll. Um... I'm going to pull you back in. What is happening right now? Oh, I'm soloed. Ha! I'm so low. Get it? Um, so Chris right now is looking for the switch wiring diagram. We did put a NeoPixel switch in this. So, so to make a hard task harder, we started with the hardest switch you can start with. <laughs> is that right? Yes. Nice. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to start soldering here in a second. And I'm, I'm super excited and nervous at the same time because, as we know, I'm not a strong solderer, but I uh, I want no to. No way. Oh boy. You are gonna be so jealous when you see what they've come out with. I don't know what you're talking about. K Kr has a dual duo tactile pixel switch. That's one button, and it looks like one button that's round and it has two sides to it. Nice. So it fits in the same slot that you are, except for you get a two button setup there. Ooh. Okay. It doesn't, I found my answer. Next though. one. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm just All blown right. away by that. I've never seen it before. So are we ready? Yeah. Sorry. I got distracted. Am I ready? Um, are you ready? Okay. Uh, really quick, looking at your switch. Yeah. Um, pixel, pixel plus. Okay. So you have a red wire. Here's what I got. I have red, orange, black, yellow, Hold on. purple. Pause. Red. Okay. Red. I'm just going to read these off to you as you say them. So just give me a color. Uh, red. That's your V. That's your pixel plus. So that's going to go to your positive pad on the board. Okay. Next. Black. That's your pixel negative. That's going to go to those MOSFETs. Okay. Yellow. Yellow is the switch. So you're going to want to you're going to want to put the yellow yellow wire on the activation, which I normally make activation yellow wire. Nice. Uh, purple. Purple is your pixel data. That's going to okay. go to your pixel. So the data and orange. Orange is your switch common ground. So that's going to go to your, um, that pad on the side. That pad on the side is very descriptive. Mm -hmm. And I know we're going to get there when we get there. So <laughs> yeah, you can, you can also, I mean, I will yeah, put, we'll, how we'll, about this? I'll put them where you tell me to put them. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Cause because while we while we just walked through it, right? Um, I am staring at this, and it's this is this is why people pay you to do this. Yes, because it's um, it it's definitely scary. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I'm it's happy, small. I'm, I'm super excited because I am praying that this thing turns on for the first time. We put a battery in it, and it's like or Boom, whatever it it's turns today, on. Right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, all right, let's do this. I just thought of something. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your board. Yeah, around the corner, there's a battery charger. Can you plug this in just to make sure it's charged? Thank you, Steve. All right, I'm listening. First thing we want to do is what? 
Sorry, as I shuffle through things, I am trying to find a KR chassis. That's okay. Give me, give me some seconds. I have one in here. I know I do. Where is that KR chassis? I know it's in here. I'm positive it's in here. I saw one. Me? You should plug into the top. There's a power uh, power brick in the top. Okay. You know what? I think I know where it is. I think it's down here. <laughs> All right. Yep, I found it. It's a beat up chassis, but it'll get the job done. I thought I had more than just that. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, so uh, this the top half of this is cut off, but so ignore it. Can you see this, Jim? Yep. Okay. So your board is gonna sit like this. And I'm gonna actually no. Oh. Is that uh, it's gonna sit like what? Let's Your see. board's like SD, this. SD card slot up, and mm -hmm. and let me yeah, switch this. Don't don't put it in there quite yet because you have all those wires and you got to turn them down. Yeah. So like this. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So. Okay. You are going to take. This this pad right here. So pull pull up the pull up the um the share screen again. The put, put me on a fourth screen. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Can you make it like four tiles? I can't. Not with that. Not with that one up. Okay. Do you see this? Find this. We're just every time we're yep. just gonna do this. You find this pad right here. Yep. And then on the um, on the underside as well. Okay. You're gonna to want to do the underside first, which means you are going to want to take the negative end of the wire of the switch, the pixel negative switch, and start with that. And then you're also okay. gonna to want to take the negative end of the Neo Pixel LED adapter, and you're gonna to want to use that as well. So. What you're gonna do is you have your wire. Um, I'm gonna cut a little bit of wire. Give me, give me a two, give me a second. So you're gonna want to leave about that much wire. Can you see that? Hang on. Whew, okay. You're gonna want to cut. Uh, you can give it a little bit more because you can push it up. You're going to want to cut both of those black wires to be that length. Oh boy. Okay. So, and then so we're talking, if we show you, if I show you my, go ahead, I'll let you finish. So you're going to cut it this length and then you have some give here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Um, and then you're going to just, you're going to trim. I know I'm not using wire trimmers, but yeah. You're okay. going to trim this much. Okay. About that much, just a, just a just a hair. Okay. On the end, and then you are going to tin this. Okay. Yep. Got it. So. Okay. And you're going so, to do that with the negative, the ne pixel end negative of the adapter and the switch. All right. Here we go. So, negative pixel is black. Yep. Negative switch is bigger black. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fold these under just for a minute or maybe yep. do something with them. Whatever I need to do to get them out of my way. Um, so these two here. Yes. I need to cut them down 
So they are roughly that long. Uh, let's see. Jeez, these wires. <laughs> yep. There's so many. There's so you can many. Take, you can tape them down if you want. I use masking tape to tape them, and I pull them out as I go. Okay. So roughly that much wire. Yeah, it gets more manageable the more you – you realize that it gets more manageable the more you install it. <laughs> yeah, I – I can see where we're going here. I am going to do that. I'm going to use some gaff tape that I have. Just throw that down like that. At least get them a little bit out of the way. I okay. apologize for, for anybody watching this video. This is the point of the video where the brain is going in. Yes. And to everyone who's viewing this, it's going to look like a, like a, like a mess. It's going to look like a cluster. And then I always tell people, just, you know, you can use your helping hands too, Jim. Uh, I always tell people, if you watch this video, it's going to, you know, it might take Jim a little bit to get there, but when he gets close to the end, it starts happening really fast. And then all of a sudden it's done. <laughs> and it's really cool when you power it on, you feel very happy when it's officially done. Got him. Hoping that's the truth. Um, also... That's what she said. Um, <laughs> I had to. It was it was a mandatory. All right, Michael um, Scott. Yeah. Well, that is smaller than small there. It's going to be hanging off the end, so you can you can leave it a little bit more. You don't have doesn't have to be teeny tiny. No, I'm just trying to get the little, the, the, uh, wow. The ones that come from that switch are so small. Yeah, they tiny. don't like my, they don't like my strippers. Yes, strippers. You don't like your strippers, huh? Yeah. So I'm trying to do this without doing, the, you know. Without breaking stuff. You think that'd be the easiest part, stripping the freaking wire? No, oh, dude, sometimes I can't tell you how many times I've like stripped a wire and accidentally pulled it out of like a nearly installed build. Ah. And then you have to take the whole thing apart. Okay. So I have. Man, it's so small. They, yeah, these little strippers don't like. Do not like how small these wires are. And I'm not as uh, proficient as you in using my cutters. Yeah, I've gotten pretty good at, at just, I, I just use, uh, did you notice that I just use like wire cutters to strip wires? I did see that. Yeah, I got really I'm a good little at nervous that. because I don't want to cut this thing too short, right? If I mess up. If you cut it too short, that's going to suck. Because how are you going to make it longer? Yeah. Touche. Uh, so I got one of them stripped pretty quick. That was the bigger okay. of the two. Yeah, this uh, that's the why smaller. I, use, I use silicone wires for that very reason. They're insulated. They're protected. They're easy to work with. And they just strip right away. Come on. Yeah, I... It's the little switch here that's giving me a little bit of a hard time. But, and it's so short already that, you know, I don't have a lot of room to work with, right? Um, no, that's, I mean, I had it, you cut at that, that size because you can tuck a little bit of it back up inside, right? Sure, sure. And so I am giving you some, some leeway. So you do have some margin for error, so don't stress about it. If you if you mess it up, we'll fix it. <laughs> well, if I could stinking just like half stripped now, because you know that's going to be awesome when we do all these wires. Uh, I wonder if I have a different stripper here. There you go, oh, Steve ooh. coming in clutch with the assist. Oh, Steve has one that goes even smaller. Perfect. Yeah, mine cool. only uh, mine only went up to it said twenty, but I don't believe it. 
So let's go see what this thing is, really. Jim out here with those magnum sized strippers, huh? All right. Hey. Steve, you're the savior of the night. Look at this. Coming prepared. Were you a Boy Scout? Damn. He wasn't a Boy Scout. I, All right. I was, an, I was an Eagle Scout. Awesome. Congrats, by the way. Um, okay. <laughs> Thank you for my accomplishment when I was 17. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's pretty awesome accomplishment. Okay. So I got them both stripped. One a, a hair longer than the other one, but they're both stripped. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. They're going to go on the, on the literally the closest side of the board piece of the board okay. there. Where do I... Okay. How would you suggest like putting my helping hand here, holding the board? No. Hang on. Oh, you have I... pads on your helping hands. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what you're going to do like that. is you can lay your board in there. You don't have to have the helping hands hold it. You can have the helping hands hold the wire. As a matter of fact, that's what I would recommend. I would, I would clamp, I would use one helping hand to hold your hilt, one helping hand to hold the wire. And then, okay. and then you can lay the board there on top of the harness there and use the solder to touch it. Lay yeah, your board in a, in a non, like a non, um, like a laid in a way that, that there's like, it's not being pushed. Does that make sense? Gosh, I don't know how else to explain that. Um, um, I don't know what you're trying to say, but you, you, you can use a helping hand to hold it, but make sure you use a helping hand to hold the hilt because the hilt will roll around. I see what you're saying. And then, yeah. So you don't. Uh, like... Here's another yeah. thing I want you to. I want you to also know. Uh, it, never tin the wires over the board. Got it. Okay, so <laughs> if you have the opportunity to tin the wires right now. Oh. Yep. The last thing too, before actually before you continue doing that, the data lines, the green line and the purple line, you need to yeah. cut those to the exact same length as the black one. So you might as well do that now. Oh, exact same, exact length, after same I, length after I taped them up. Uh, I'm sorry. On. I just remembered. No, you're good. So that was, purple, I remember what green. color? Purple, purple green. and green? Yep. Okay. So cut them to the exact same length. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What did Steve say? He's showing me war wounds for sh soldering over the board. I, uh, I was soldering something a couple weeks ago, and I was wearing shorts, and um, a drop of molten solder landed just above my knee. Purple you know, and green. Funny. Purple I and green, yeah. right now, yeah. I flipped okay. a piece of solder into my eyeball once. <gasps> that was cool. Purple and green are cut. It was very scary. All right, strip. I am. I am sweating bullets, dude. You got to take right. a second to, to breathe. Just breathe. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're, you're. Yeah. You got it. I'm good. Ish. Dope. Just trying to get everything out of the way again, so I can work on what I want to work on. So I need to tin. Yeah. Tin the two blacks is my next um, goal in life, right? Yeah. You know, Jim, I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, when this is done and it turns on, it's going to be amazing, I think. Yeah, you're going to be pretty happy with your accomplishment. You're absolutely right. I'm going to cheat as a heck when I tin these. Tinning this should be the easiest part, right? But... You know, but you know me, I'm, um, I'm amazing solderer and, uh, I need all the help I can get. We'll just say it. <laughs> um, so I'm going to, uh, do what you said before and not touch this as much as I don't have to.
Did it get on there? I think that's tinned. That one's good. Oh, God. You know what makes this so nice? Now yeah. you've got this whole tinning thing down, and I don't have to watch to make sure you're tinning right. I mean, yeah, well. I trust Steve. <laughs> yeah, well. No. <laughs> you know, I think you're right. I'm going to grab this with that one. Huh? I'm going to spin this around for now. I just you're the you're right with the the dang um hilt rolls around yeah it moves i usually grab the battery oh yeah you're doing it you're doing exactly what i typically do i grab the bat the side of the chassis yep that okay i know this is riveting um for anyone watching but for me this is like uh you know it's like rocket science yeah exactly not gonna lie. It shouldn't have a blob, right? Just a. Uh, just. just it, 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 I mean, you can have a little bit of a blob. That just means you put less solder on the. I think we're good. I think we're good there. It's a little bit of a blob. But. It's not bad. And you don't use like flux when you do this stuff, right? Typically not. No, you don't really need it. <laughs> Should I? That's the. No, you're all right. Okay. So I got those two tinned. Not well. Okay. What? Okay. So you can put put me back on. Put the share screen back on. Um. Your what? Which? Uh, let's see here. The share screen. Sharing is caring. Okay. Is the, the, my put put the wiring the board back on. Yep. Okay. The big black wire. Yep. You are going to solder. You have a choice. If you want it to, if you want it to look clean, you can solder the big black wire right here. Uh, clean big black wire. Show me again. And there's already solder there, right here. You see, Clean. you know how I have like those three yep. bridges? Oh, you're upside down. Okay. Can I do that on the other side? No, let me look here. Where are you at? Uh, yes, I see it. That's where your wire is. So on the upside down of that? Yep. So the other side of the board, correct? Yep. Big black, big black wire. The one that's the negative end of the actual LED right here. Okay. And then right next to it, you are. I want you to do this first. Actually, no. This is what we're going to do first. We're going to do the data lines first. We're going to give you as much space as possible to do the data lines right. And then we'll okay. tap these in. Time out. I is, want that you the, to, is that the uh, green and purple? The green. I want you to, to tin this pad on okay. both sides. I want you Hang to on. Put I got to tin those. I didn't tin those yet. I just yeah, did the blacks because I thought we were starting there. Tin the wire, tin the green wires too. Okay. And then tin these pads on the board. Just a uh, little bit of solder on either side of the board. And that's green and purple. Yep. Man, there's so many wires. Yep. Well, so true. little, so many wires, so little space. I need there some could, of these. Uh, apparently, there could have been three less. Somebody had to get been. fancy. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Uh, uh, yeah. Just tiny, tiny little bit, right? Like a couple millimeters, I think you're yep. telling me. Okay. Let me tin these real quick. Sorry about that, everybody. I was, um, thought we were starting with black, so I didn't tin green or purple yet. But we can do that in just a second. Also... Also, let's see here. I should, I should have the uh, helping hand hold my solder. You can do that, yeah. Got you, I think. Yep. Check.
Okay, I think I got that one. Let me just look. My hair stuck in there. All right, I did. I got them. Now you want okay. me to tin? So hold the board and tin the middle tin one. The, tin the black. Tin, tin the tin the middle. The the pad. The my cursor's on it right now. Uh, your cursor's is not there anymore. Again. Really? Oh, it went to sleep. Sorry. You, you see it? <laughs> yep. Now I can. Okay. You're gonna so the tin one next to pad. the one you bridged. Yep. Okay. This is gonna be it's gonna be tight. <laughs> so let me bring this up real quick so you all can uh, see what I'm doing. Here's the board. There's the board. There's a little pad right here that I'm gonna try to tin. And I'm literally I'm going to have the helping hand hold this. I think can I stick the tin? Can I stick it through there and tin it that way? No. Oh, you're so no nope. fun. You just touch it. <laughs> I don't want fun? solder to get everywhere and neither do you. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like a great time. All right. Literally, I probably could just hold this, but I'm being kind you of can. a dork about it. And, you know, I shake so much that maybe this will help my life a little bit. So just touch the solder to it, sandwich it down, right? Um, yes. You, well, you want to touch the soldering iron on the pad. Got it. And then you want to just meet it, meet the solder there, and then okay. you will tin the pad. The pad will be have should have a little bit of dab of little tiny dab of okay. solder on it. Oh God, <laughs> this is getting real now. That's the hardest, hardest pad. Yeah. Okay. I think I did it. Okay. Now you got to do the other yeah. side. What? <laughs> Flip it over and tin the other side. <laughs> Can you show me a picture of that again, though? Yep. You mean the? Uh, yeah. Let me let me look at something. I I'm curious about something that I see. Hmm. So I can't tell. What? But I can't tell if a little piece of solder fell or if that was on the board. Where? Let me look at another one. Let me just look at another one. So we have a couple here, right? LG, third one over. Okay, that's there. So the third pad down, yeah. you see where the little red arrow is next to accent pads? This? Um, you, no, up, third pad down. Up one more. There were, up, up above the one. Don't worry about it. So, I mean, um, there's a little piece of solder that I see there, and I thought I accidentally dripped solder or something. Some, it doesn't matter. It's, okay. it, they have to bridge them to do anything. A, Got B, uh, sometimes Whew. those pads are placed in there, and they get cleaned or tinned like that. Got it. No, you're good. I, I just noticed it, and I'm like, oh, boy. Um, so if I flip this thing over, it should be the opposite Second one in on the opposite side. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Deal. I could do this, man. It's going to be, it's going to be a, um, a, yeah. Steve said it'll be a momentous occasion, but I was thinking like a testament to your teaching skills. Oh, me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because because I got like some kind of crazy contraption going on where I have everything holding everything. Yeah. Nailed it. Pretty much professional. You got the wire on there, or you just did the top? Oh no, not the wire. I got I I tended. Yeah. You you know how you're doing these wires, right? 
uh, let's go over that. Okay. So you're so going I, to let, lay. Let's do this. It sits. Gonna, it sits SD card up and away. Yes. Okay. And currently, I need to find a way to put green on one side, blue on or uh, purple on the other. Um, of this, of this yes. second one in. Yes. So this is how you're going to do this. You're okay. going to. Um, uh, Oh, this is a good, I'm getting a, a big, a big visual for you. Oh, that'll work. This is the board, right? Okay. So imagine this is the soundboard. Yeah. This is the, uh, okay. This is the wire, right? Yep. You are going to strip. Okay. The, this wire is already stripped, but let me strip it a little bit larger. You are going to strip this wire. Got it. And this part is tinned. So yep. you don't need to get any more solder involved. You are going to lay the wire flat like that. It is not going in any holes. It is not coming in at an angle. Okay. It will, you will solder it like, like, poop. like okay. poop. do you see that? You got yes. that? Yes. So for instance, you will solder it here and here and then you're going to flip it over and you're going to go plop and plop so on the underside of the board listening you are going to put the black wire the big black wire wait 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 we're talking wait i thought we were talking purple and green you can do that too they they're both the same way so okay. uh, you can uh, the, the the underside of the board, you're gonna do the bigger green wire. Okay. Into so the data line. Here, how, do the um, data line first. Do the hard get the hardest part out of the way. So in in it needs to sit here, right? It needs to sit you up and flip here. it over. What? You're gonna have enough you're gonna have enough room to move things around and you could like turn the board over. You think so? Yes. Okay. So just grab it by the pad. Or grab it with my helping hands so it sits really close. Something like this. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Brand new helping hand swiveling on me. What Don't the... squeeze the SD card. Hey, the yeah. SD card's not in there, right? Uh, it is. I can pull it out. It is? Yeah. Oh, sh yeah. It's out now. Word to the wise boys, everybody. If you're ever, ever soldering to anything with an sd card in it take the sd card out check check it will melt into the board uh oh i've well, done it <laughs> i'm gonna go out on a limb and say we didn't do that yet let me look no it no didn't. no no um, the moment you solder with the with the positive and the negative pads okay. it'll just melt into it so let me let me remember this on the second one in SD card slot up, second one in you want the green. So the purple is going to be on top. Okay, and the top green you're is going to be on the bottom. Top you're calling. Oh, that's this one. So we need to turn this over. So second one in on go this back, side. Hey, really quick, Jim. Go back to my share screen just just for a second, just so that you can be a. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think I got this, maybe. This right here is the data pad on the bottom. Yep. I want to see the green wire right here. Okay. Purple on this top. This is the data pad on the top. I want to see the purple wire right here. Okay. Green, I, bottom, purple top. I would do the green wire. Okay. What actually what I would do is I would do green wire and then I would put the black wire on the bottom and then I would flip the board over and do the other two. <laughs> Sounds good to me. And if I keep it close, we should be okay um, as far as... Uh, you don't need solder. So you can actually hold the wire with your finger or a pair of tweezers. Okay. 
and just touch instead it. Of using the helping hands and then you just tap it. You should not need solder because you tinge the wire and you nope. tinge the pad. Green bottom. Yeah, well, I shake so much that the helping hands uh, definitely help help my hands. Okay. <laughs> So I think if I do that right there and I just touch it. I know this is riveting and it's it's kind of hard for me to show how close and tight this is because I'm not using a anything but a GoPro um, as this camera, but it's uh it's tight. It's small. I mean, it is I mean small. I, people really do not understand how no. small cfx soundboards are they are tiny yeah steve says he understands yeah the nano biscotti is even tinier but the nano biscotti has bigger pads sucker i'm just joking uh the nano biscotti is the one that steve used first right yes the okay CFX so is green Green on the bottom. I hate that I have to be so close to this. I wish I could have left more wire, but that's like half the battle to me. But I think here we go. What now do you for mean you wish you would have left more wire? You wish you wouldn't have cut it so so Yeah, I wish there was more to play with, but there's just the nature of this beast, right? There's not. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's only these are the only two wires where you're not gonna have a, a lot of oh gosh wire to work with. You want them kind of clean and tight because of where they are. Okay. Uh, How are you looking? I'm looking right now. It appears. I wish I had a magnifying glass. That's what I wish I had. Yeah, they make helping hands with like little magnifying glasses on. I saw that and I should have bought it. Um, I have really I good vision. Good. I think I'm unless good. Unless I get solder in my eye, but. <laughs> well, I think I'm good there. Um, now I need to do which one next? So you Fidget get it? Up. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to show you. Let's see if I can. Jim, that looks pretty damn clean, bro. Yeah, if it's a good solder, I'm good with it. Next. Pretty damn clean. You said All do right. a black one or something? Do the black one that's right next to it. Uh, so literally the right next to it, and that's the, which black one? The thick black one. The, the, ver the one that comes from the, the LED itself. Okay, got it. And that's going... The little black one's going to go on Literally right next to it right mm -hmm. i didn't tin that one yet uh the board side mostly because oh i we forgot were... i put them on the top yeah you just just put a little dab of solder there <sighs> killing me man just joking well i mean yeah <laughs> you, you you saw what I did, right? You realize that, it, like, I was worried it would take you forever to do that. It is take. It's gonna take me forever. What are you talking about? Worried? No, it's it's. I saw what you did. You um you bridged those in. Yeah, thank you for that. All right, tinned. Now black bigger black goes on that one yes sir god this is so tight this is <laughs> this is scary this is so scary oh i love it and i have another one to build yeah you do so there's that um you know i think once i get one done and it works i i, I have a feeling my my nerves will be much better right Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll have at least 17 hours of practice of soldering. 17 so. hours. <laughs> this one's mine. Hers is hers has a better switch or uh, easier switch and stuff. Um, yeah, hers is just a single switch. Well, I got a purple light up switch for her. 
Oh, you're going to have to do accent pads, bro, which means I'm going to have to help you do that. Yeah, well, that sounds great. <laughs> so you're not just going to be able to just, you're not going to be able to just wing it. <laughs> Damn it. How do I, I'm trying to figure out how to set this up. <laughs> Although that would have been easier. That would have been easier yeah. to do. Yeah. Like overall would have been easier. Well, at least I have 35 hours of video I can go back and look at and. You know. Yeah, but that's that's that switch is wired in a different way. <laughs> that we we I'm wouldn't go this. over. I'd have to teach you how to wire it. Great. I mean, <laughs> dude, this one's killing me. I got to figure out how to get my helping hands to hold this, um, so I can just touch it because I shake so much here. It's. I'm sure you could just be like dunk right there. I don't know what I want. Actually, screw this. I'm going for it. Ready, Chris? I'm going for it. Well, do what you got to do, man. Um, no. It makes you feel any better. I'm trying to do a little bit of ketchup so I can join you. It makes me feel better. What? I'm trying to do a little bit of ketchup on an, my own install so I can join you. Okay. I am. Um, I have green and black on. Yes. Check out this. Uh, let's see if I can. Oh, Jim. Jim, that's the wrong pad. What? Yes. Look at my dude. screen. Hang on. Come on, dude. You said right next to the green one. Yeah, this one. Oh, in the freaking corner? This one. Shit. <laughs> I mean, excuse my language, everybody. I mean, darn it. I, I mean, darn. Yeah. So I need to unsolder this. So it, that's the only MOSFET that's not in use. Okay. So that's that's why. Sorry. It could have been. It could have been a contender. It could. It could have been. Uh, but it's not. Um, trying to grab this thing on the side. These boards are so little. Okay. So I need to unsolder that and go to the corner. Yes, on the underside. And 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 remember that when you do the black, the little black wire of the switch on the other side, it's got to go to the same pack, just on the other side. Corner. Yep. Corner, Got corner, it. corner. Now I gotta get this off. Dude, these are so little. Why are you taking so long? I don't know what is going on here, but it does not want to let go. There's one hell of a solder. Really? <laughs> it doesn't want to. It does not want to let go of that uh pad just hold it flat there you can hold it flat over the wire instead of just the point hold it oh hold it over the top of it yeah dude this is painful huh dang it i was going so good for one wire and then i had to go solder to the wrong hole the wrong hole. What happened? <laughs> right? What is going on? There we go. Jesus. Give the board a minute, huh? So I got to go into where you soldered. Yes. Oh, God. 
and not break Please? what you did. He won't. <laughs> it's in that those yeah. those little wires are in that Steve, hole. Steve just said, "Have you met Jim?" <laughs> those little wires are in that hole, so it won't it won't come out. Don't worry. Got it. You just don't need any additional solder. No. I won't do that. What? Dan said you could have off tomorrow. Nice. If he's watching this, he's going to know. Chances of that happening are very slim. Unless he's into lightsabers and want to watch three hours of me soldering and messing up. Okay. Yeah. What is going on? I don't feel like this is heating up like it did. Let me just, check. it's the same temperature. Maybe it's just dirty. Is that a thing? Yeah. You, you have the cleaning thing, right? <laughs> Like that? Okay. That'll do it. I felt like the other the other one went in so good. Yeah, I ruined my mojo with that, Steve said. I'm having I'm currently having the same exact problem. You what? I'm having the same problem. My soldering iron will not. You cursed me. Crank her up, Captain. Oh. All right. Let's try this again. Dude. Steve is giving me a hard time over here. This is just the weirdest freaking thing. Like, you want to step in here, Steve? Literally, uh, I step uh, into the ring. I um, the other the other ones just like melted in, right? Yeah. And now it's acting like. You retain the wire a little bit. Well, it's not even melting the wire. It's not even melting the board. Solder. Yeah. Crazy. Well, that the solder melted. I just am so good at soldering that I suck. Um, God, you know I do want to catch up to you so I can help you, but I really am out of solder. That's crazy. How am I out of solder? I'm a lightsaber installer. Are you joking me? That's wild. I can't believe I don't have solder left. I just opened up that drawer and I was like, oh my gosh. My solder's gone. This is the craziest thing. Yeah, it's the, it's the craziest thing. So you, you can't pull it off the pad or you can't get it to go to the pad? Um, if I touch the solder, it melts. But if I touch the pad and mm -hmm. like what you did, yeah, it's just not melting. Just leave it there for a second. How long is a second? Leave it there for a little bit. Let it heat up. It's fine. You can take it. Yeah? It'll be okay with the board? Yeah. Oh, everybody watching is like, what in the heck? Let me show you what I'm fighting with here. Oops. Okay. I have this contraption. 
where I'm holding the board here. I mean, I could retin this theoretically. But I shouldn't have to, right? Um, yeah, you shouldn't have to. Maybe. Okay, it's on there right now. Like, theoretically, I should just be able to touch this. You got this. I believe in you. I know, right? This is the weird. Like, the other ones went real easy. <laughs> I held it on that whole time, and it didn't do anything. Okay, so we can we can move to another pad if you're having problems with that. Maybe it's my solder, so I don't know. I mean, how about give me half a second? Let me let me try what Steve said. And you just got to be really, really careful to not make a mess of the board. That's the number one thing, bro. Right. So, I don't know what it's doing or not doing anymore. It's really weird. Like, I, I, I'm going to maybe, uh, shouldn't do this over the board, you said. Okay. Let me just clean this off real good. And it could be the tip. I don't know. It was doing just fine until I screwed up, right? Wrong, wrong whole thing, you know. Dang it, I was super excited because I was going so good the first one. So weird. That should be the easiest freaking one, right? Not one of them. It's not the easiest one, but it's uh, yeah. If you can't get it on the bottom there, why don't you tin the top pad and just do it to the top pad? What temp do you usually do your solder at? I'm usually at like 450 something. C? Yes. C. No. I'm at For 300. Like yeah, huh? that's why. Go to go to 4, go to like 420 at least. Okay. Try this one more time and if this doesn't work, I'll go to the top pad. Because we're wasting way too much time on one pad here. Right? Theoretically. We're at 450. 450. I gave him 350. Okay. Don't make a mess of the board, he said. Please don't make a mess of the board. I mean, it's your money. <laughs> right? Oh, man. Have you seen it in stock yet? Yeah, right. What? Are these, are these boards still in stock? Are they? 
I hope so because I need to buy some. In case Jim needs another one. Yeah, they're they're still in stock. If not, I can get them. I'm I close. know a guy. I'm close now. Matter of fact, yeah, it's just better with the better heat. But the mother fudger. All right. But the um, I'm 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 on it. Right, it's in there. Except for it's far a little bit farther off the board than I want it. Does that make uh, sense? Yeah, I got. I know what you're saying. So it's it's on the pad. It's just like hanging there, though. Oh no, it's it not can, on the. Pad. It can it's hang off the back of the board. It can hang off. The, okay. Ow. As long as it's not loose and bridging anything. Hang on. I'm going to do something here. You can show it to me and I can tell, give you the green light or not, too. I think I mean, I'm just yeah. It, 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 makes it's, you feel uh, any, it makes you feel any better. We're getting the hardest parts out of the way here, so. <laughs> It does. We, really, we are. It does. It it makes me feel better, but it also I'm just like I just want this done so I can move on to the next one, right? And yep. I feel like I should be able to do that, but then I got 400 wires here in the way. All right, there you go. Then I got like my awesome solder skills and not awesome solder skills going on here. So I feel like I should just be able to touch this right now. It'll fuse to it. We'll call it a day and move forward. And not touch other stuff while I'm doing that, right? Um... Yeah, try not to. You try. You, you typically also want to make sure you don't touch the soldering iron to other parts of the board <laughs> or bridge other parts of the what? board because the heat actually generates electricity, and you could short a component. Got it. Dude, killing me, man. Just. Freaking go on there. I'm almost wondering if I have enough wire exposed. Yeah, you don't need, need much exposed. No? No, you shouldn't need too much exposed. Got it. Don't need much, right? Nope. Dude, this is killer. All right. He's like, this is why people pay me to do this thing. Yep. Exactly the reason. You may not have the absolute joy that I probably will have when this is done because I did it myself. But it's worth the money. Pay Chris to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I can't tell you how many. I actually, it's actually really funny. Um, it's not funny, but uh, a huge market of mine are people who have failed to do the install themselves. And they come to me with parts. I just did one. I just did one. Uh, it's sitting over here. Someone had failed their install. They just, they just said, I, I can't, you know what? I can't do this. I can understand. And they, that. they sent me everything. Um, I, uh, I'm going to do it, but. You're typically is. past that point though. You're past the point where people stop. Really? Yeah. Either they get there, they get all the way to the end 
and Jeez. it didn't work and they, they don't have the ability to find out what the heck they did wrong. I can't even imagine that. My first install didn't work right away either. So I know the feeling. It was a CF, it was a CF7. I think I'm good. Woo! God, that took too much. Okay, what's next? Flip the board. What's next? Flip the board over and do the little wires on the top, but make sure when you flip the board over, keep in mind that now that you have those boards or those wires that way, yeah. when you flip the board over, the board's probably not gonna be able to be flipped over again. Uh, Easily, you're probably able to turn on its side, but you're not gonna be able to flip it all the way over. Again. Okay. So, so I'm gonna flip the board over. Green, or purple goes where green was. Yeah. Yes, the purple is second. the data line for your and switch. That's the second one in. Yep. Okay. This is just a. This thing moves and turns and. Trying to keep a big like plier next to this thing so it doesn't slide. <laughs> there we go. I do the okay. same exact thing. I wedge it up uh, to like a tool. Yeah. So bring it close. Purple's got to go where green is. Right. Purple goes where the where the data line is. Correct. <sighs> you got this, right. honey. I believe in you. Here we go. The audience believes in you. What? Steve, Steve, I don't know if Steve believes in you, but. <laughs> Pur purple is done, baby. All right. Then the black goes on top of the other black wire. Fucker. Oh, dang it. I got to edit that out. I mean, darn it. <laughs> Just joking. I love you, Gosh, Chris. darn it. I love you, man. I wish I'm. I'm not gonna say what I'm thinking out loud because we're film, we're recording here. <laughs> what um, you wish what? Um. Let me just uh, let me just get this one done. Um, if we were not recording, I would probably say other things out loud. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> like I wish. I wish if we were not recording, I have sailor mouth going on right now because, yep. because I'm, I mean, it's, it's, it's scary. This one might be too long. Is it a thing if my cable's too long? No, you're good. Don't worry about it. He's like, nah, you're good. Just no. put it on there and hit the solder button, dummy. Yeah, we'll just, we'll, we'll shove it in there. I'm actually like using all of the things right now because Steve has his helping hands here too. And I'm I'm like triple dipping on helping hands because I need them yeah, all. I have, I have five. I, I have five helping hands that I use. So it's not it's not an orthodox. Black is on. All I'm right, show bit... me. Show me everything. See where we are. So I was wondering about the length. Um, how do I bring this closer to you and show you? Let me let me do this because I want to make you sick. Um, okay, that looks clean. That looks clean. It's. I mean, okay, the, now, they're a little long, but they should un, be okay, un, right? Unclip the board and show me the other side. Just turn it uh, over a little bit. How do I? Okay, that looks. Uh, did Jim? That looks freaking great. Uh, it's hard to see. There we go. It's a little better. Okay. It looks, it looks great. Next. All right. <laughs> <sighs> okay. We're gone now, right? That, now we're cooking with peanut oil. Woo! All right. <laughs> All right. So let's pull back up my screen. All right, give me half a second. Booyah, Grandma. 
Okay. What's up, everybody? I am, uh, if you're just joining us, I am struggling through soldering this little tiny board, but we're going to get through it. This is what learning is about. This is what these projects are about. Chris is being a trooper, teaching me on his side because he'd be done with three of these by now, I think. Um, well, I've already finished two, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's I built that. this suit back here while he was um, working. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so, we're yeah, we're moving on to the next step. Jim has uh, actually actually done, I would say, the hardest part of the install, or the not the hardest part of the install, but the hardest part of soldering to the board, yeah. um, and that would be the data lines. Uh, and you know, Jim made his life extra hard by by uh, doing two of these. Yeah. So because we got an, uh, a NeoPixel mm -hmm. switch. Yes. I appreciate so, you sending that to me. Uh, yeah. Thank pretty, you for be cool. believing in me when you didn't even know I didn't know how to solder yet. <laughs> so do you see so this pad right here? This is where we're looking at what's next. Hang oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yep. We're looking at the this? top side of the board. We're looking at the bottom side of the board. I'm sorry. Bottom side of the board. Yeah. Uh, wait. Why is my board backwards, Joe? What? Oh, because that picture is backwards from what we're doing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why it's that way. Okay, so I see okay. two. One is under L. No. Yes. One is under the MOSFET, which is that black thing. And then one yep. is under the pad. Activation. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it activation. Says ACT. Yep, got it. Let's go over to the top side of the board. Now you're making me spin it around. Okay. Here's the ACT on the top. You see it? Yeah, I see it, yeah. What I want you to do is I want you to, to take the yellow wire. I want yeah. you to measure it. Look on my screen. I want the yellow wire to come to about here. Oh, gosh. Okay. So so if, if the end of the board, if this is right where that curve is on the chassis, um. so here's the chassis. Are we up Here's on that side of the board? Okay, hang on. You said flip it over, but I flipped it. Oh, let me look. Okay. Yeah, I see it. So the, so bring the it. chassis, your, your wire is going to come to about here. Um, I can't. Hang on. Let me try that. Oh. Okay, hold on. Let me hang get on, a wire. On. There we go. There we go. Gotcha. Let me get a wire to do this with. It's okay. It, on your picture, you want the wire to go all the way up to... Where the USB plug is. Yeah, I want the wire to be about that long. Okay, yellow. Yes, the yellow wire that long. Okay. And what what you're gonna do is from the you're gonna need tweezers for this. From the okay. underside of the board, so you're you're gonna strip you're gonna strip this one a little yeah. bit more than you did the last one. A little bit more. More and then stripper. You're, going, you're gonna take. Here, before you do that, watch watch me. Okay, I'm, I'm watching. So, Hang pull on. the screen up big. Yep. So, you're going to strip the wire, right? Yeah. I did not even strip it. You're going to strip the wire, and I'm exaggerating. Actually, that's about how long you should strip it. And then you're going to take your fingers, and you're going to twist it. Okay. You're going to twist that wire. Okay. And I usually spin the object and spin the wire. Okay. And then what you're going to do is, I'm not going to be able to do it because this is a very high gauge wire. You are, uh, or low gauge wire. You are going to stick it through the hole. Okay. Do you want me to tin it first or no? No. No tinning. No tinning okay. of anything. Okay. So let me, let me start with crying and then cutting. This, part's, this part should be, should be fairly easy. Okay. Yeah, should be very easy, she, he says. Cut, yellow, right? Jesus, yes. I should have asked you first. Like, I, I feel like I'm cutting bomb wires now. Like, yellow, blue, no, the red. <laughs> oh, hang it's on. Me. I got to yeah, grab a, uh, that's, that's perfect timing because, um, let's see, perfect timing because I need to swap the GoPro battery real quick. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a bite of chicken. You what? 
take a bite of food? I have chicken. Do, do it. Chicken sounds good. GoPro battery. Check. Next GoPro battery. I'm going to have to do, I, I mean, I should get a tabletop. Actually, I could just use what I have. I have um, a DSLR that goes above me, like a top yeah. down, but I don't have it on currently because I didn't think it would help us. It, you know, it's going to show my hands up top, but that's it, right? Yeah. Um, but it might actually have been pretty helpful right here. Uh-oh. That battery might be dead, too. What the heck? Ruh -ruh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, hope I charge these. Otherwise, I got a couple. Got more. I have a GoPro I should probably use for this. Um, yeah. I mean, I think they, they do a good job. Uh, mine is just not powered, so I have to use the batteries. I could do one of those power things, but, you know, there's that. Okay, here we go. So. With your soldering skills, you could probably make it. You what? With your soldering skills, you could probably make that device. There you go. Yeah, my soldering skills. Um, yellow is Steve there. is literally laughing in the corner. <laughs> He, he, oh, he's smiling. He is enjoying this thoroughly, I think, except for the fact that he's not in bed yet. Um, yeah, and I feel... Tomorrow, I oh, yeah. Dang it. You're off tomorrow. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, then I'm in trouble. I have to be up at 5.30 my time. What time is it? Uh, it's only 9.30. We've only been here for a couple hours. Okay. So, so you want me to go up through the bottom or the top? So the top being SD to card plot. I want you to go up through the bottom of the board so that it pokes through the top. And through you need to be there. You need to be very, very front through the USB side. Yep, you're going up to the right side. You need to be very, very careful that there is no little hairs of wire yeah. that don't make it. Got it. That's why I actually typically use uh, tweezers for that. And then you kind of just press the board down and then you use the helping hands to hold the board so that it there's is. like pressure. Okay. I'm 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 there. Yeah, let me grab my helping hands. They're not very helpful right now because I didn't use them yet. There we go. Yellow's up through the top or through the bottom, up through the top. I don't believe there's any hairs. Currently. Okay. I hope it's pushed. I can't see now, but I think it's pushed all the way up in there. To the top? You can't see it poking through the top? Oh, I can see it there. I can't see the bottom. Like, oh, then now, that's good. I just double checked. We're good. We're good. Okay. okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your solder, you're going to take your soldering iron, and you're going to just put a blop right on that pad. And I, I like to touch the wire and the pad so with the soldering iron at the same time. You want to touch? Right? Okay. So. Say I that one more time. Pad, I, you're going to put a blob of solder there. So I like to use my soldering iron to kind of touch the pad and the wire at the same time. Like the tip's touching the pad, the wire, the, and then the side of the tip is touching the wire. And then I just touch the solder on the other side of it and, and make a like nice little blob. Kind of exactly like how you did the pins on the NeoPixel adapter. <laughs> that was like weeks ago, months ago. So touch the tip of the soldering iron to the board, mm -hmm. then touch the solder to that. Yes. Okay, here we go. Okay. Now what? Now, did you solder it? Yeah, baby. Is it done? Yeah, baby. Looks pretty here. firm. Um, God, this camera sucks. I don't know where the you focal show point me is. The... It, there's a wire sticking up through there. That's that's but... fine. It doesn't matter. Nothing's going to touch oh, this that. This is terrible. Let me see. You can see the solder. I can see it. I can see the nice little blob. It doesn't look like nothing's bridged. 
You're doing really good so far. Okay, next. <laughs> okay. So bring bring back up the shared screen. All right, dude. Oh. It's so much easier with all these like helping things. Um, okay. Do I need to cut that down or anything? Like the little wire or are you good? Cut the That's little it? wire down. What do you mean? Like there's a little bit of a wire still sticking up to the top of everything. It, you can, if you want, if you want to take your little uh, 3d printer clippers, I do that. You can cut the top off. Just make sure you, you cut Nailed it and then it. you like blow it off. Got it. All right. Next. Okay, so our next step. I'm I'm literally sweating here, man. I'm, I'm that like intense. It's intense. Is it? okay. Next. Kind of like camping. Um. <laughs> oh no. All right. Uh, it's chicken I see now. Okay. You see my screen? You see this thing? Yep. You're gonna tin this pad. Do that right now. Tin it from uh, the underneath. From bottom side. Yep. There's a lot of twisting and turning here. That is, show me again. Ground? Yes, the ground. Um, the GND pad. Trying to picture where this is. Um, let me see. Where the hell is it? I'll know. I need to know. It's the biggest small pad there. On the, the on the like closest to the end. Um. So there's three tiny baby ones, and then the first big one. Yep. The at first the big end one of, the ground. At, at the end of the second yep. row of where your cursor is. Exactly where my cursor is. All right. I'm. I'm. I'm going for it. I wish I had, I do wish I had a close up camera um, so you could actually see this a little better. I can and see I it. I think I'm going to work on that. I probably could set that up, but we don't have time now. Um, so if you see my board, this is the underside, what you call the underside, right? Yep. Let me just do this. My, I keep forgetting my color on this thing is jacked because this monitor I'm using has got a blue problem. All right, so this one right here. Fourth one yes. up. Okay. Yes. The, the three good. little ones, I don't know what they do, so don't touch them. That's right. Okay, good. Tin it. Tinning, tinning commencing. Cool? Cool, cool. He's just like, get this done, dude. Mm -hmm. Solder dude you, you're being awesome, man, for literally like the most basic beginner thing. Well, you are starting off with like, you are doing like a serious install. <laughs> there we go. Nailed it. Okay. Nailed it. Boom. Okay. Now what? Now you are going to take. Was it the orange wire? <laughs> hang on, hang on. I'm gonna You're I'm gonna double me. check because I don't want to make a mistake either. Yes, the okay. orange wire. Okay. So this, this one's gonna be a little bit weird. You are not gonna put the orange wire through that hole. You are going to you are going to solder the orange wire laying flat, kind of like you did with the black wire and the purple wire and the green wire. Yeah, yeah. But across those three ones that we're not going to use yeah you cannot okay. bridge anything no i mean like you want it laying so yes the wire's coming flat across that way yes and okay. you do have to keep in mind that uh be very careful how you're spinning this yeah so it needs now. to be yep you're doing it right okay good because at this point now you officially cannot turn the I you cannot turn, turn the board over well, i could but you'll probably break things at this point. <laughs> well, let's be careful then, right? I'm just trying to gauge how long the wire needs to be. Myself. It's okay if I go a little bit long, right? Yes. Okay. 
be better safe than sorry? Yep, you can go a little bit long. Okay. I'm just, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the let's go a little long thing here. And you want me to tin that wire like the others? Tin the wire, give it a little lead, a little tiny lead. So that yeah, the, it has no potential to bridge, and then you're going to solder it to the underside of the pad. Perfect. So, man, this I wish I had better control over where this shot, but that's okay. We're, we're getting it. Um, I'm sorry about the camera angles and not being able to see, and but I promise there's something going on here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And if you're watching, you know now how much I shake because that was a bad one. Okay. So then you want me to go on that did one, you, right? Yeah. Did you tin it fine? Tin it. Yeah. Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's relative. Fine is... Uh, well, the rest of your solder joints look good, so... Yeah. I hope I tinned it okay. This is going to be a weird one because I got it go in this way but we have steve's well not one i did steve's crazy helping hands here like so i have extra extra helping hands dun, dun, dun. Steve, steve's tiny hands <laughs> take my small hand child this my strong hand <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that is funny okay so don't bridge anything. That goes about right there. It goes without saying, just in general. What? Don't bridge anything. Don't bridge it. Don't you do not want to be bridging anything at all ever during this whole process. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I catch. What you can you're bridge throwing. stuff. You can bridge stuff on the NeoPixel adapter, but you bridge something on the board. <laughs> you're either lucky to fix it or you're starting over. Probably not helping you by saying that. <laughs> Did you get it? It's so weird sideways. Yeah, you touch it to the wire. And, and essentially, look, like, press it down onto the board. Let me look. Let me just look at it and make sure it's okay. It's attached, but I, it's not my favorite. Hang on. <sighs> give it, give it a little bit more solder, maybe. Yeah, I might need to. Um, let me just... <laughs> don't be a dummy. That's what I don't want to do. So 17 more solders and we're almost there. <laughs> do we have 17 left? No, I don't know. I'm just joking. Uh, I mean, if you count the building the blade, which, oh boy, forgot about the blade. <laughs> That's going to be another video, I hope you know. Yeah. It sucks, but I hear you. Which means we're going to have to do another video um, for the blade building. But that'll be easy soldering. Like you, You'll have an easy time with that. Yeah. Yeah, the pads are big. It's not that crazy. I hope it might even in there. All right, I finished my chassis, but I ran out of solder. So I have to stop. Boo. Boo. Let me just check it. No bridging. I didn't bridge anything. 
That's good. I feel, like, like I, feel like I, need a dab. I feel like I need a dab more of solder on it. Like. And it falls off. <laughs> that was awesome. Damn it. It's, uh, I don't know why. This, not... one, this one's uh, throwing me. Yeah, this one's throwing me for a loop, and I don't know why because it's it's actually not that bad. It's just sideways. -y. If you mess up the bottom, you can always go from the top too. Just know you sure. have a backup plan. I think. I'll just burn myself with the soldering iron. The day's not complete unless I burn myself with the soldering iron. Wow, this I don't I don't know why this one's kicking my butt here, but sorry if there's a lot of commotion. All right, boom. Let me just check this. I think you I got done it. Diddly did it. I really think I got it. Um, I don't think I bridged any of the other three little dingies, so we're good. Okay. Woo! That was rough for a minute. Woo! Sorry, everybody. If you're watching at home, keeping tabs. That is uh, soldering iron 17, Jim zero. Okay, now that we're done with the easy part. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, okay. Who said the other one was the hardest one? I was kidding. Um, this. So, what is, what is next? Well, I would say that the next part, what we should probably do is, Okay. You what you should have left. Let's let's take inventory. What okay. you should have left is you should have a little red wire. You should yep. have a big red wire. Yep. You should have another big red wire that's coming from where the switches or the speaker is coming from. The, yes. Or it might be yellow. I don't whatever it's, we It's made. red. Okay. So you have the battery positive, you have the the LED positive, and you have the switch positive. Yep. Um, you you also have uh, the negative battery line. Yep. And two, and two speakers. And two speakers. We are we are we are on the home stretch. All right. Let's do We're this. Doing power now. So, the very very next one is going to be. Um, you are going to tin this pad and tin this pad. Yeah. And you're going to tin the red pad. This you're going to tin the positive pad on both sides. The outside. Uh, I want one. the whole thing tin. So it, you're going to want a fairly decent amount of solder on there. You know what my mom would have said? What? How's, how's it feel to want? No, <laughs> well, just do it. I'm just joking. Do so, it. so what we're gonna do is tin. Let me pull up my other camera here. Mm -hmm. Boom. We're gonna tin both of them and the outside one on both sides. Yes. Where's my cursor? Sorry if I'm if I'm moving around here. Mouse. Yeah, my mouse. What did I say? Cursor. Oh my god. Okay, this is this is tricky because it's sideways now. Right here, on the back. Yeah. Yep. You know, but it's hopefully just tinning. <laughs> so hopefully, not that big a deal, right? Hopefully, not that big of a deal. Um. Kind of, but I'm nervous that, I mean, like that. Oh, like this. No. Yes. no. How about like that? I'm not touching it. <laughs> I, I see what you're saying now, and I realize I have this holding it and this holding it. and Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what we need to do is tin away at a couple of these here. One of them, is it matter if it's going to bridge that little area where the SD card thing goes in? 
So the SD card shell is actually the negative. So if you get okay, a huge yeah. glob of solder on that USB, it doesn't matter. Wait, so, so outside one, we're tinning both sides. Inside you can one. Both, you can just do, just tin both sides of both pads. Just tin both sides, oh, top and bottom, just yeah. tin them both. That way we have, that way if you make a mistake wiring something, you can just wire the top. It's not a big deal. Or maybe if we lot. don't have room, we don't have wire room. You just wire to it. Hopefully that did. Okay. What is my problem? I tell you, I got a new 3D printer, Jim. No, what'd you get? My hatchbox, the one that I used to call Old Faithful, yeah, uh, stopped working. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, crazy enough, I had the hatchbox alpha for like seven years, and I got the AnyCubic Mega X. Okay. To replace it, I don't, I don't know if you've heard anything about it. Yeah. Sorry, I know you're focusing. Nope, you're okay. Entire pad covered on both. Okay. Underneath, underneath. So I need to flip it over and Just do the top both. pad on the outside, right? Yes. Okay. We're going. Oh, top pad on the outside is good too. They went through. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Boom. Okay. <laughs> so back to the graphic. Mm-hmm. Uh, back to yeah, back to back to the. I'm like, yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm losing it. Um. So. Uh, this, this, uh, so j just actually, just to make it easier on you, what I'm going to do is flip the negative around and, and come from the, it's going to come up the bottom and it's going to go to the top. Okay. So from the bottom, we're going to do the bottom one first. Okay. You are going to cut the, the red wire. You're gonna cut both of the red wires. Okay. I actually kind of want you which, to which uh, the together. ones coming. Which ones? The the small red one and the big red one that are coming from the small red one and the big red one. From the top. That are coming from the top. Yeah. Okay. Yep. The positive power wire is going to be the very last wire that you put on. So the okay. one that's coming from the speakers that's yeah. going to be the very last solder job that we do. Got it. Um, so, okay. So you're going to cut the, the length of the board, like go to the, go a little bit past the length of the board. Okay. Well, and, and, and you see cut. my board is out, you know, because we had this much length already, right? Yes. Okay. Just making sure. And I'm going to show you a technique, but the board's out. I want you to cut it a, like past the length of the board by uh together both of them the same length yeah. by let's say just just a hair past the length of the well yeah. actually more than that more than a hair past the length of the board like okay. okay so this is this is the board that's the wires yep so are you thinking like here farther right there cut them both right there now, what I want you to do is I want you to strip them and strip them pretty, pretty healthy. Like give them a, a nice big strip. Big, a, in, like a, a la larger than, than you've done for any other thing. Like the length of the pad? Just, just, I, I would, I would strip it even a little bit more. Okay. 
Hopefully that's... And then... Nope, I got, don't twist it. Oh, don't twist it. Don't twist it. Nope. Don't twist it. So do you see... Can okay. You see you, how much? Is that enough? I would tr I would strip more. Strip more. Yeah, I would I would kind of do maybe uh, like what you just did again. Okay. For both? Yep, for both. Okay. Now twist those wires together. Oh shit. Oh, we're doing a little twisty twist. Twist them together at the end. This is very important that both of these Meet at the pad. They if meet they where? If they do not meet at the pad, if they if these wires do not meet at the pad, at the pad on the board, the yeah. NeoPixel will not work. It needs direct feed from the battery. Okay. So now I want you to tin those while they're together. Can I cut the tip off one? No. Oh, wait. Nope. One. One is just a hair longer. I just tin it. Okay. Tin it. Tin it. Just tin it. Yep. When a problem comes along, you must tin it. That was terrible. It was really bad. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I'm being if I'm ordering you. I don't mean to be. You or, no, you do it. You order me. Do whatever you got to do. Hang on. I One just I didn't want I did me. not want you to cut that. You're gonna see, you'll see why why I don't want you to cut it in a second. All right. No, you're good. So and, I'm gonna. And, and, I want you to tin it kind of thick. I want it to be I want it to be a healthy boy. I want her to have some solder on there. Just make it make it a little gloppy. Okay. Whoa. And and make sure you get all the way down to the root where the wires meet. Make sure that's joined. Well, that's not helping me. That Hang looks on. good. That looks good. Uh, the the top it's like dripping okay well it doesn't matter Oop. So stop yeah stop right there okay you're good don't do any more okay all right now take your little clippers out yeah and that lead all the excess i want you to snip it like you were before i want you to cut the lead that you had there in half that what you just tinned i want you to cut it in half Take your okay. snippers and snip it. Well, now I can cut it in half. Yes. Just joking. You can cut it in half now because you 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 got solder on it. Okay. Okay. Cut in half. Now you should have a little tiny, not a little tiny, but you should have a pretty decent lead there. Yeah. Right. Yep. And you are going to you are going to. Okay. Back to the graphic. You ready? Oh, hang on. I got to show you this. So do you see this big thing right here? Yeah. It's big. It's yellow. You have to go over it. Okay. So you are going to, you see my camera right here? You are going to put a little hook. You're going to bend the wire so that it has a little beep, and the lead is kind of sticking over it. Okay. You also need to be, be positive that if you're laying the board down that those wires are going into the channel that they're going to at, at this point the board needs to kind of be situated in the place that it's going to fall into the slot but that's the bottom right so yes okay well it's gonna <laughs> the sd card is going to be on top yes but you want me we're, right now or what i mean is we're uh we're you're coming in the from the bottom, bottom. yeah Okay. Okay. So, so you need to make sure that that those that pair of red wires yep. can slide into the channel. Because when you mm. press the board down, those wires are going to be spongy and it's going to pop that board up. Do you see what I'm saying? So they're going to go in that side. So I I need to move these wires. Yes, they're on the wrong you need side. to make sure that they're situated in a place where. Well, darn it. Okay. I think we're we're there. So I need to be okay. on this side. I need yes. it and I need to solder it into the very outside here over the top of that thing. Make your make your screen big, bud, so I can see it. Do what? Make your screen big so I can see you. Yep. Hang on real quick. Teeny, teeny tiny. Uh I'm just uh I'm getting set up and then I'll show you. 
Okay. <sighs> Come on, baby. We are so close yet so far. All right. So upside down. These you want to come in like this and meet the there. Yeah, but keep in mind they got to be on the other side. They're going to be in this side. Yeah. The, the bottom. Yes. Yes, I got that. Yeah, I just don't want you to get any wires crossed up there. Yep. Okay. Cool. I, cool, cool. I, uh, I so, got that. So you're going to solder it. Oof. Not from the side. It's got to come underneath. Huh? You are not going to solder on the side. It's not going to be hanging off to the side. I don't know what you're saying. Okay. So. Like, like, okay. So like, I'm not going to solder it physically this way. You want me to turn the board up? Nope. Uh, okay. Go to my, my screen, my yep. side Hang one. On. Okay. This. Hold on. Actually, this is better. This is the board, right? Yep. Here's the positive pad. Yep. This is the wire. You are not going to solder the wire like this. You are going to solder the wire like this. And then it is going to have a little bend and it's going to run this direction. Got the wire. It. Okay. The red wire should run like this, but it needs to be soldered straight on. If you solder okay. anything like this, the board will not sit fit into place. Okay. I got gotcha. you. I, cool. I took I, my little needle nose and I put a, just a little bit of an angle, like a 90. Perfect. That's exactly what, how I do it too. I take a pair and, of needle nose pliers and I bend it. Yep. So that's where I'm at now. Um, so really what I need to do is heat this up and go thunk right there. Yep. Oh, geez. Okay. Here we go. I probably should use those. You know what else I should use? Come on. Are we doing this again? There we go. I'm in. Looks pretty yep. good to me. It's not sticking off to the side, is it? If it's sticking off to the look. side, it won't go in. Um, No. Not really. I mean, if it is, it's like minuscule amount. Um, okay. Let me see if I can get you a better view without getting you a crappy view here. Dang it. I mean, it's straight up. I can up. see it. Okay. Okay. I think I'm going to definitely rethink this uh, GoPro thing. Okay. Go ahead. Here's what you're going to do now. So... It's so the, crazy. The negative wire yeah. for the power. So I, I, what I want you to do now is get the positive wire and the speaker wires completely out of the way. So tape them together and just kind of get them get them situated away from the back. Okay. Because you're gonna you're gonna mount this board now. Oh boy. Sort of. You're gonna kind of get it in place. Because at this point the rest of the wires are gonna be mounted. So the only thing you have left now is that negative wire, right? Negative and and everything on the back, yeah, yeah. Negative wire, positive to speaker, but positive we're doing very last. Yes, I listened. Semi listened. So the the negative wire, yeah, it looks like it's a little bit tangled there. I want you to untangle it. Um, give me one second. I'm just gonna do yep. this. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. Okay. So untangled. that that negative wire looks a little bit tangled. We're gonna run it on the other other channel, other side. On the top or the bottom? The so the red wires are running on the bottom. Okay. And the I want the black wire to run on the top just to make placing this easier for you because you have you have excess wires. You have you have more wires than than are pretty standard. Gotcha. So get it get it to the point where it'll okay. just lay in that channel. Yep. Okay. So. How much how much lead space do you have? That much. Goes to here. Um okay, so you are gonna have to dig it into the other channel. So bury it into the other channel, the the, the channel on the bottom. Oh wait, you want me to put this in? I'm sorry. 
If I shove this in here, is that what you're asking? Yeah, don't do that. It's not long enough. Okay. So bury it into the bottom channel. And you, you the, the thing is, is you got to sort the wires close to where they're coming out of. They can't be like laying on top of each other. Or when you go to set the board, they're going to be squished together and then the board won't sit in place. So the wires kind of have to have some sort of level organization as you shove it back there. Because you will just like push it back there. Got it. So, so the black wire. Black so you, wire. Funny enough, push. you actually don't need to cut the black wire at all. At okay. Pool. Got it. Okay. So now I want you to kind of get the board so that it's sort of sitting in place. Um, oh, wait, 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 really quick. Before you do that, before you do that. Um, yes. The, the speaker, the speaker wire, open up the graphic really quick, just because it'll be easier this way. There you go. The speak, this, this pad on the bottom, I want you to tin this pad on the bottom. The first one? Yes. Um, and that is speaker pads. The one yep. on the very corner, right? Yeah, tin that on the bottom. Okay. I can do that. I'm almost a master tinner. What? Why don't we build a lightsaber, they say. It's our first soldering project, they say. <laughs> It'll be... It'll be uh, awesome, they say. Actually, it is pretty awesome. It's very frustrating because... I, You know, I've been making props for a long time now. I feel like I've been making props for a long time. I've seen a lot of crazy stuff. And I, I still think that the lightsaber community is the most insane as far as, like, making <laughs> something that, like, is just Jin. realistic as all. Right. I okay. can't see because you have my screen up. I uh, I did that so you wouldn't have to see me. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, let's see. I am yeah, tinned on something. that corner. I'm tinned on the corner now. Pro I promise. On the underside on that corner. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, shit. Now you got to bring my graphic back up. <laughs> <laughs> Might be one of the last, the last big things here. Okay. You got to bring my my shared screen back up, but so you said we're gonna start getting this back. Um, start getting it um in place or something. Yes. So after I just I'm gonna show you where the next wire is gonna go before yep. you begin to um uh, before you begin to put the board in place. So okay. you are going to solder that black positive or black negative battery terminal to this which means it's going to okay you can see my screen right here which yep. means the wire is running like this and it's going to yep. curl and yep pop in right okay okay so you don't need to you don't need to cut the wire at all and you've already tinned the end of the battery i didn't negative, right? i didn't tin that one yet but i will okay so you could just tin it and then you can curl it but you've got to put the board in place you'll see you kind of kind of have to put the board in place a little bit Yep, I see that, and I probably need to cut this down. I have a lot of wire here. Okay, just cut cut a little bit of it, yeah. Let's not cut too much, right? And you're going to take, when you run that board down, Yeah. when you run the board down with that negative wire, you're going to tuck that negative wire as deep in that socket as it goes. Okay. So it's not in the way of anything. <laughs> Oh, my eyes are crossed here. I, I was like, where's my solder? Oh, it's right in front of me. I forgot. I forgot he was behind me. Yeah. <laughs> I looked back like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Master, he's, what are you doing? Okay. He's usually um, not in here. <laughs> you what? He's usually not in here. That's funny. Um, all right, so it's going to come around up the back. I need to tin that top of that pad, though, right? Or no? Um, you did already, didn't you? I didn't tin the very top of the negative pad, the inside one there where your cursor is. Yeah, you need to tin, tin that. I keep saying cursor. Freaking mouse. That's what I'm saying. Same thing, cursor, mouse. I know. 
Do you not will the curse? Yeah, that. <laughs> what what Steve said. I don't know where to grab the board now. Is that a problem? I know. I can um, grab the other side. Hang on. Yeah. I just got to rearrange here. So one challenge I'm having is I didn't get these. After you on. put that negative line on, it's the board's going to kind of hold itself. Yeah. I imagine you are correct on that. I can see that. I just wanted to level. I'm sure if anyone is watching this, <laughs> Um, they're probably like, what is this guy doing? And I promise I've never soldered this much ever in my life. So there's that. Um, it's not gonna work. I'm just trying to get a good hold of this so I can do what I need to do quick and not have it run off everywhere, right? Hey, hey Jim, you can, you can also hide this uh, Jedi Master camera if you want. I don't have anything else to show you. Uh, Jedi Master Camera. If I do that, that's where your sound is. Oh, never mind then. Remember? <laughs> okay. Whoops. I'm on it. It's so funny because I have like all these thoughts about all the things I need to to tin. And you, I, I'm assuming when you do this, you just like ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, because you've done it's it, to re it's weird to relay times. the information because I, I even I mix myself up when I'm trying to explain it because I've never actually taught anyone how to do it. Right. What's going on here? Okay. So where we're at is negative is ten now. Finally, okay. um, I can I can bury that when I bring this loose. So yep. I can bury negative way deep in there. And you can cur curl it around and solder it before you bury it. Okay. But I need to – let me go. I want to go under this one. I want to untangle yeah. it a little more just so it's, it can sit further even. I think that will be good there. Okay. You said curl it around and solder it first? Yep. Well, son of a gun. Just I would get your, yep. I would get your little pliers out, and I would put a little curl in that. Or you can do it with your fingers, but. Dude, I'm sorry. What? 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 I would put a, a little loop in that wire. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. No, it would make this so much easier. Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> ha! You're funny, but it's true. Um. Don't drink and drive, kids. Um, don't drink and solder. Yeah, yeah, don't drink and solder. Okay. So let me think about how I can. Here we go. Boom. I'm just trying to plan my gripping here because you know how really awesome I am at this. Mm -hmm. um, and I, what I, obviously, what I did was I set it in the center. And then this is going to come around the back of the board. And solder in there. Yep. Make sure make sure it comes in at, at, at not like it's in, in the way of the USB or the micro SD card. Got it. Make, keep, try I mean, to, I try will, to make it so that the wire has like we'll get it, it's kind of out of the way. Um Gee, many Christmas. Here's me and my sweet solder skills. Not, not so much. Come on. I think part of the challenge is that I'm worried about the camera too. And it's not helping me any right now. Because I'm having a hard time gripping this board. Okay. I should just freaking hold it there and solder it. But I'm not that awesome like, like you guys. Yeah. Don't want me in with him. <laughs> Don't. Don't lump me in with it. You've done a couple of these now. Me? No, Steve. Oh, I have. That's more than I have. Last time um, I counted, I think I've installed like 600 lightsabers. She many Christmas. 
And now they're all different, you know. I have conversions in there. Some are easier than others. But every time I do like a master chassis or something, that's the equivalent of doing like 20 lightsabers. Oh, really? Yeah, I've done like seven or eight of those. No, what? I've done like 10. I've done like 10 of those. What is that? A master chassis is like a goth master chassis is um, where it's like 3D printed crystal chamber insides and stuff, like yeah. metal 3D printed parts. Right. Oops. I actually have one right here. Customers are afraid on this desk. I can show it to you here. I can't. You can do it. I, I believe cannot you. get where I want everything to... <laughs> Where I want everything to be placed here, so I'm not an idiot in doing this, um, is very tricky because it keeps falling off the other one. But I think I'm just gonna. Oh, I think I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna see if this lights this works. I don't know what happened to it. Come on. So close, yet so far. All I want you to do is sit like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it okay if it's touching that SD card slot? Or I mean the USB slot? Um, on the very left side um yes okay then we're good and whoo next <laughs> okay sorry i am on the floor you're good are you finding a master chassis thing oh you want to see that or, or are, you, are you just playing on the floor i was trying to make chief light up um here's a master chassis let's put, put my camera on we'll take a a little hair break. Here is a master chassis lightsaber. This is a Kanan Jarus. You'll have to do better. All right. So it's got the little lights right here. I'll turn that on. Nice. Right. I'm about to let everyone in on the secret. See those lights right there? Yeah. So this is what makes this a master chassis. Whoops. So there's the lightsaber right there. Nice. Crazy. So these, are, these are 3D printed metal parts. Wow. Right? 3D this is the printed same. metal? Yeah, this these parts are like 3D printed like brass. So that's a that's a crystal. Nice. And I built this. Um, I built this adapter so that his chassis would come out full NeoPixel. So I this nice. end of it is I custom made this end for this customer, so that he could pull the whole chassis out. And then this is running on a CFX. This is exactly what you have going on. This is what yours will sound like. Sweet. So speaking of speaking of that, what's next? Yeah, let's go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, you're like, let's no, go. I'm, uh, I don't want to, I'm like, I feel so bad. We've been going for like two and a half hours here and, and I'm only this far, but I'm already this far and we're almost done and we're almost there on this particular part. Right. So, okay. Um, now I have yep. my, my, let me pop my, do this. So I have that negative on there. Okay. You are going to take the speaker wires. Yes. You are going to solder so do you see this pad really quick oh hang on let me are you showing me this yep see this pad uh yeah second one in really really quickly tin that pad from the top from the top mm -hmm. uh that's the opposite of the one we already did yes you did the other one from the bottom you're gonna do this one from the top got it it, it can none of these can touch the sd card slot Got it. No so touchy is, SD card slot. 
yes, that little little tiny gap that they give you, it needs to not be bridged. <laughs> Whoo! Genius patent that crap. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the chassis holder. Yeah. <laughs> Lightsaber chassis holder, baby. I'm freaking gonna make like singles and singles of sense. <laughs> right? I am so bad at this. All right. I think you said do not touch the oh, hang on. Don't touch SD card holder. Like don't don't get soldered, don't bridge it. Okay. Yeah, right. I mean you could touch it, just don't bridge this. Don't bridge it with solder. Come on. I'm so shaky. Um uh, I'm close to bridging it with solder. I have the pad done, but I do have a, a little dollop on that SD card slot. And are they they're not is touching it bridged? Apparently. No. Then don't touch it. Should I turn it over and no. heat it up so it falls off or anything? No. Just leave it? Yeah. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, you're not going to be able to get it off. It's fine. I just don't want it bridged. If, if you were to bridge it, we could figure it out. But yeah, you, you no, can't it's, bridge it's it. it's not bridged. Because the SD card is negative, remember? Yep. That, that metal holder is going to be negative. So it'll just, the audio will just distort. So it's not bridged, I promise. Not okay. going to promise that when I put this a wire on it, it might not bridge, though. We'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Okay. Ah, that was a good bridge joke. So okay. you're uh, going to unbundle your speaker wires. Just pull them out, both of them. Okay. So we're not putting this in now? You're, you're, that's what you're going to do next. Actually, you can do that now if you want. Set, set the board. Like work, work, with, work the wires. And kind of get it in place. Okay, I don't know how it sets. It sits in so that it's... little slot, and you just yeah. you have to get your tweezers out, and you're gonna have to like work with the wires. And what you're gonna do is look look at me, look at my screen really quick before you you go down there. Yeah, that's a good one. So you have the chassis right here. Here's the dome. You're gonna like you're gonna kind of get your tweezers and straighten the wires as you go in, and you eventually want to like shove the board like you kind of want to come in at an angle and shove the board and set it down with the wires all running and and then they're all properly sitting in their channel might take you a minute or two a couple minutes to do it but just kind of work with it and if you got to start over you start over but like you work the wires in okay you don't want to actually permanently set the board at this point but you want to get pretty damn close where the where most of those wires in the back are out of the way Got it. Pliers are not small enough. Do you have a pair of tweezers? Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm going to pull these in. I don't actually, I just use the point. I just like make a point out of it and then I just sort of move them. You just do what? I just kind of use the tweezer ends to like move the wires so that the whole board goes into the channel. Yeah. Keep in mind, remember that black wire that's curled around has to be dug into that that channel. Yeah. So you might want to start there. Yeah. We are so close, dude. Very close. You could be done with this in the next 10 minutes. <laughs> dude, why would you say something like that? All right. I am. I apologize, camera wise, but I'm just gonna start working. Just go. Yeah, just just go for it. Because this is, um, you know, tricky. Be really careful not to pull or force anything. Yeah. It really should just shimmy in there. I think I'm I'm hyper worried about my really good soldering skills currently. That's curled. That's curled over there, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, and make sure it goes under. Whatever's on top needs to go on be on top. Whatever's on bottom needs to be tucked under the bottom. Oh, I see what you're saying now. And use these. Yep, channels, channels to shove it away. Okay. This is curled over here too. That's our what negative, right? Yeah. That that those will all shove in there though. Top, top. Mm -hmm. I mean, we we're close here. Ugh. Oh, damn it. So this is the fun part, huh? Yep, this is the buttoning it all up, making it look clean. I mean, I'm down for shoving it in. Uh... <laughs> I see Pardon. where it sits now. Holy crap. There's a lot of wires. Oop. There we go. We're close is here. It, does it look like is it does it would it pop in? Yeah, I don't know what popping in means, but it should literally you should not see the sides of the board. It should oh, go through the it, channel. What? Yep. I don't know but a I feel like a wire. Oh, never mind. Oh, it's like a wire just came off. No, as part of the 3D print, a layer. Okay. Let me see something. That was scary. Um, it could sit in there. You said. Yep. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, it will. Okay. Sure. It will. I I have faith in this. Uh, I think. A little bit of trimming might need to be done here on this little wire that's hanging here. Of course, I can't grab it because there we go. Okay. Um, I think so. Does that look good? Here you go. Up, 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 up. Turn it. Turn it so I can see it sideways. It, that looks good to me. I mean, I can see the board on this side, but I, I think it'll go in there. You need to, yeah. You might need to just wiggle it a little bit to get it in there. You're, you're gonna don't set it. Don't worry about it too much right this very second because you're gonna have to lift it up to do the last piece of the soldering. But I just wanted everything to kind of be in place. Son of a. Okay. So free the speaker wires. Free, free everything. Wires. Free the power wires. Free the speaker wires. Get rid of the tape. Okay. Okay. So. You are going to do one last little piece of solder underneath. Put me back on the thing. Hang on, I'm freaking out a little bit. All right. Do okay, you I want you to cut. I want you to cut the speaker wires. So if you measure this to the speaker wire, like if you measure the speaker can wires. You, can you show me the other side of the board? Yep. I'm, I'm looking at to. the top of the board. I'm trying to. I don't know why. Oh, okay. Here we go. You yes, go. you you're gonna you're gonna solder one speaker wire to the underside of the pad, right here. This is the last one you're going underneath, and then the other one is gonna be on top on the second slot. That way, the two speaker wires won't cross. So I gotta pull it all out again. No, you don't. You just what? have to lift up one end and just kind of turn it, turn the board to an angle, and solder it right there. Right. You saw my soldering skills, man. And I'm just going to let you cut those speaker wires to the appropriate length. I think you've got it at this point. They're going to be in here. I forgot I got to cut them. This goes over here. This is going to go back over here. All right, here we go. Yep. You see, cut you see them how it's going to lay? They're kind of I'm sandwiching gonna cut, each other. I'm going to cut them a little long, probably. So I have extra to play with. Yep. Strip them both, tin them both, one on top, one on bottom. Yep. I got this. I got this. Don't bridge to USB. No. The bottom one should be easy to not do that. Yeah. You are mostly correct. When it, I mean, I'm going to have to say, 
I worked for this for sure. And I'm proud of that. And I'm, I'm super pumped. They, they, you're, you're like so chill and like, yeah, just do this and do this. And, <laughs> and the thing is, and the thing is like, literally this is my first, um, I'm just tinning. So I don't really need to bring this too much closer, but you know, this is my first big anything soldering project. Right. And yeah, he was shaking his head cause it was his too. And, um, yeah. And I think this is a heck of an undertaking. I probably should have started with something like a nano biscotti or crystal shard or something. I was thinking like I don't know. Uh, I didn't solder my death racer, no, because uh, John did it for me. All right. So one's going to go under under here and it doesn't matter which one right well you want it to be the very corner first one well, I, what i mean is it doesn't matter which wire no it doesn't matter which wire okay i always thought there was a positive and negative to this no uh not for mono wires got it so it's because it's mono stereo yeah. What? It matters when you're doing stereo, I believe. Right. Do not quote me on that, anybody. I don't want anyone coming in. Well, on a lightsaber, it doesn't matter. On a lightsaber, you're doing mono. Always. Got it. Um, how am I going to hold this thing? I'm trying to come up with a sweet way to not solder my face here. Um, solder my face. What? Oh, I'm just, I'm just playing. I'm trying to come up with a, a good way to get in there and get it soldered without, I, I mean, I just pretty much pulled out everything I pushed in. So I'm going to have to start over there, but, but you know, it's fine. I know it sucks though, but Hey, I think my challenge, I just wanted you to get most of the wires like tucked away at this point. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think my challenge is that I'm just um nervous about breaking something right and and that's fair because this is super tiny little stuffs and i think i'm taking like way longer than normal person would to try to figure this out no but, i think my first cfx install took like six hours or so well we at least have that <laughs> 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 my first one's going to be on film for like 90 hours. Um, let me see here. I can't grab you. If I could literally, if I could not shake to death, I would just hold this thing and do it. Come on, real quick. I'm psyching myself up here. I believe in you. Thank you. I'm glad someone does. Mostly because my, my saber keeps shifting now. <laughs> Every time I think I have it, the whole thing moves on me. There we go. You, you. And it's got to be coming straight off the back, right? It's got to be coming straight off the back. Uh, yes. Essentially. Yes, coming straight down, yeah. Sorry, I didn't know what you meant at first. back but it's not great not great at all dang it it's okay take your time with it yeah thank you i need to re 
retin this. All the strands are crazy. I found a little hair. Yeah. And we don't want that, right? No. <laughs> you can just cut it, though. If you yeah. find a little hair, you can just kind of cut it off. <laughs> just cut your hair when you need to. This is like, I don't know. This should be like simplest part. I'm, I think I, the issue I'm having also is maybe I'm coming at it the wrong way here. No, you should still be able to just press it in there. Yeah, I think my challenge is struggles real with this one. All right, sorry, camera. I got to spin this around. Oh, it's okay. People get the concept. Yeah, I I think the challenge I have is I'm trying to do it left-handed, and it's not helping me. Maybe Steve could hold this board straight. I don't know. I'm just talking out loud. Could you... And why is this one such a pain? Because it's sideways. That's why. Can you do me a favor, Steve? I don't know what the best way to do this is. It needs to come straight off the back like that. And Maybe if you hold it, I can just press it on and call it a day. Where do you need it? Right at the corner of the tip there. Ooh. Right all the way on the end there. Let's not burn everybody here. All the way over to the end. Come on, you son of a bitch. So close. Good so far. Pretty good. Boom. Man, that one sucked. Because it was upside down. Not going to lie. That sucked. I had, I had an audible. Uh, did you do it? I had, I had a help from Steve. All right. Now you got to do the other one on the top in that second slot. Yeah. I see it. At, thi at <laughs> this point, at, after you do that top one in the second slot, make sure, make sure it runs along the board. You can't attack it from the side, right? Yeah. So this is – be careful soldering this one. <laughs> It has to run along the top of the board? Yeah, it has to run alongside the SD card slot. It can't be like off to the side because then the chassis will run into it when we put the chassis in, or the, the actual Shit. hilt. This is going to be awesome! Okay, got an idea. It's got to go here, but not touch anything else. And come over the top. Yep. Okay. If I hold this, Stevo, maybe you can just touch. Uh, here's the challenge. I have this really nice piece of solder on the side of this USB. 
sorry camera i have this really nice piece of solder on the side of this little usb thing here that's gonna be a biatch but it's got to go on that pad right there but it still has to come this way over. yeah like that and it's gonna touch there i think It can't be touching the other pad either. Yeah. What I'm worried about is that USB I talked about a minute ago, a little bit ago. I'm not seeing a lot of solder there from the camera. There's a big ball of it right on the side there. You'll be okay. Just just try it. Okay. <laughs> He's like, just get this done. I'm with you. You'll, you'll be all right. You, you're not going to bridge it. All right. Here we go. Can you grab this one? There's a little down... I, I put there. solder on the side of that thing all the time. It happens. Um, should I hold this like all in one? And if you bridge it, you just scrape it off until you it's not there anymore. It's not a big deal. Got it. You see where it's got to go, right? Ready? Oh, is it stuck to the side? Okay, good. Back uh, towards the back of the board a little. Can you see it? Oh, oh come on! Uh, can you pick it up? Uh oh, is it stuck to the side? Yeah, it is. Here we go. You see where it's got to go? Damn, this is a good one because it's got to go over the top there, right? Yeah. I, I, this is bothering me right here. And I just... Huh? Just do it or not? Steve's like, try it. All right. You see where it's going to go? Should we just try it or should I try to... Well, I, gotta, I don't like the angle that I got there. I got an idea. Let's do this. Oh, shoot. Probably not the better spot for it, but there we go. Not bridged, and it's out of our way now. Here we go. You can see it now. Should I put some more solder there? Yeah. Oh, sure. sorry, camera. <laughs> Woo! We're, We're getting four arms here. We're so close. Yeah, uh, but I think I need the tip of it. Go ahead. Grab the tip, maybe more. Ooh, right there. Hey, uh, hey, uh, Chris. Yep. Want to know what I shake? Everybody shakes. <laughs> Come on. This is the easiest. Not really. Can you grab it closer to the tip at all? It's not so floppy. Ready? Just the, just the tip, Steve. Yeah, just the tip. There's those strings now. Should I retin it, maybe? <laughs> How does it not stick? It was on there forever. Let me retin it. I didn't check this. There's little stringies on this one, too. Gee, many Christmas, man. Two solders away, dude. And you said, oh, this is going to be an easy one. Remember that? Hmm? Remember when you said yep. this is an easy one? We're almost there. 
he said. Are we? I thought you were done. What happened? <laughs> I have one flipping speaker wire to go here. And I'm having a, a, a slight issue. Whoa. Okay. Meaning my soldering skills. Okay. I'm going to owe you a new one of these. Pull it all out. I jam it in there so much. Okay. Spin it around a little. There we go. Okay. Yeah, dude, this, this one's fun. Because I'm trying not to bridge the side. I'm trying not to bridge the first one, right? Mm-hmm. This is rough. Should I get the helping hands to hold everything, you think? Or if you hold it, I can burn you. <laughs> Is that what you're worried about? Because I am. Uh, all right. Ooh, can you come out towards the end of the board a little bit? Or out, like, there you go. Is it? Is it on? It's stuck, but I don't know if it's a good joint. Let's look. Let's look. It's so little. That's what she said. Yep, we're on. Calling that good. It's not a cold solder, right? Uh, well, it's pretty hot. Ha! <laughs> Come on, that was a good one. I don't think so. Okay. I mean... I think we're okay. I trust you. <laughs> okay. Now what? Push her in there again? Push the board needs to be all the way in. Situated perfectly. Uh, yeah, how about that? Get your tweezers back out, work it into place, make sure it's it's a hundred percent set. All the wires are exactly where they need to be. Okay. I'm in. Mostly. Okay. I'm good. You are? Or are you sure? Um, well, that's that side. Okay. And, uh, and, I just pop, and I just popped it out of the other side. Trying to oh, rotate it. Okay. It looks good to me. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you have your electrical tape, right? Electrical tape? Yes. Uh, yes, I think so. Hang on. Try not to break stuff. Um, shoot. Now, yes, me for electrical tape. I have a uh, gaff tape for sure here. Duct it tape. Needs to, it needs to be non conductive electrical tape. Mm, no. Do you have any on you? I don't think I... I had some here, I swear. Let me think about this. It's like the vinyl tape. Yeah, I... I, <laughs> I, know, I know what electrical tape is. I just don't know if I have any here. I thought I did. Um, shoot. You know what? It's not a big deal because... We can finish the install. We can try to turn it on, and you can find electrical tape and tape the board down later. Like you don't have to do that on on, on video. You can just show the final product. Uh, look, uh, open up my camera, and I'll show you what I'm going to do, though. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Let me. Uh, which camera? Oh, come on. The front one. Still can't. Hang on. Still trying to. I'm drunk. Okay. <laughs> you, uh, let me get rid of this for now. Let me go here. Okay. Yep. <laughs> So, um, here's my electrical tape. Hmm. So the board's in here, right? Yep. Like this. Yep. What you're going to do is you're going to cut. So you're going to put super glue, a little bit of super glue right here on the side of the chassis. Not on the board. Okay. A little bit of super glue right here on the chassis. And then you're going to create a harness out of two pieces of electrical tape that are going to run right here right where the start of this is you're gonna it's gonna 
you're going to, you're going to glue it. You're going to essentially super glue electrical tape down. You might think, oh, the super electrical tape will hold. It won't. Right. And then you're going to strap the board down. You're going to pull it kind of tight. You're going to strap the board down. And then you're going to put glue on the other side. You're going to do the same thing. And then you're going to take a razor knife and trim the excess. And I use two pieces of electrical tape. Okay. I use this stuff right here. And you'll yep. see that two pieces are kind of like the proper length. You want to make sure they're not actually folded over each other. You want them to be flush with each other. Okay. Right? And you can get them to be flush with each other if you stretch the electrical tape out. Okay. So if I use two pieces. To... That's going to cover everything, though, right? Will I be able to get to the SD card slot? Yes, you're you're just going to leave it right up to the SD, right up to this line right here, right to the line. Okay. And if you okay. go over it, you can always take a, a razor, like an exacto knife, and just kind of trim. You know, you can just kind of trim it, like trim the little slot out. Right. So, because um, you could you could you can dr drag your exacto knife over the top of that metal piece right there without damaging anything. Um, Got it. Okay. okay. Cool. Your last step, you, since you don't, that, that's something you're going to do. You'll do when you come back, that should be there. And, and in the meantime, uh, you know, for the video sake purposes, Jim, I, when I finish next time, I finish a lightsaber that has that I'll send you a picture and then you can plug it into the video for editing. Either way. It'll be tomorrow. Probably where I'll finish a lightsaber. That's I can fine. send it to you. Um, so, Okay, whoops. Don't worry, this board is trash. Um, your positive wire. Yep. Your positive wire is going to go, you're going to trim it so that it's the right size. And it's going to go right end. on the top. Yep. Okay. Give it a little bit of slack. Give it a, a little bit. I will. Um, this is very important. You need to make sure that this positive, no, you could go ahead and, and trim it and tin it. <laughs> go ahead and trim it and tin it. Um, you need to make sure that this wire does not stick up. It needs to be pretty pressed down into the board. This is like kind of the only place where if it sticks up a lot, it, it could hit the the side of the, um, the, gotcha. the, you know what I mean? It could hit the, yep. the sleeve. The hilt? Yeah. yeah. So you want to make sure that you have a nice, clean, pressed down solder joint. This is the easiest solder of the entire thing. It's on a corner. Thanks, man. The easiest is last. Thank you. It's on a corner. That. It's on a corner, and it's the biggest. It's the biggest pad on the whole board. <laughs> Damn you! Damn you and your. Don't forget positivity. to send that wire. Yep. Just joking. Don't and yeah, don't remember not to hold it on too long from the top because you might be solder the ones on the bottom, and that would be an absolute nightmare. Uh, oh, yeah, you're talking about, yep, because there's, uh, there's wires on each side, yeah. I'm just tinning the wire there. Making sure we're tinned. Yeah, I am awesome at this. And by awesome, I mean really not, but I'm trying. And I'm just, dude, I am so praying that when we power this up, it powers up. Yeah, well, before we do that, we're going to have to stick the SD card in the computer and do a couple of things. So. Oh, really? Yeah, just, just a handful of things. I'll walk you through it. It'll take two minutes. Okay. Oops, that was an axe. Dude. Yeah, the shake, my shaking does not help this. Okay, but I'm done. You did it? Um, yeah, but I need to check something. Under some serious light here. Good. Okay. Okay. SD card goes in your computer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're very bossy now. <laughs> <laughs>
Give me half a second. I just got to grab my reader. Actually, no I probably problem. have a, probably have about thousand readers right here. But that one sucks. Creality to the rescue. Because I don't want to walk across the room. I have an SD card reader uh, right here. Or an SD card reader. Freaking USB yep. port. I have a bunch of them from Creality, too. The little ones with the blue. I lost your audio. I can't hear you. Can't hear you still. Can you hear me? Thumbs up if you can hear me. How about now? I can hear you now. It muted for some weird reason. Okay. Mm. All right. All right. SD cards in. Yeah. Right? I'm going to do all of this from the seat of my pants. All okay, right. Hang on. Let's, <laughs> let's, uh, we might as well share the screen, right? Yep. Seat of your pants. Let's, let's see it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Pop open that config file. Config text. Config uh, text. Scroll to go down towards the four, fourth from the bottom. Oh, down here? Yep. That's Ooh, up one. You know what oh, I did? Con I put you on the, the smallest screen I have in front of me. Okay. Oh. Hang on. I have two here, and I threw, threw this on the small one. Okay. Open. Just open the config text file. Yep. Okay. Change switch. Equals two, make that a three. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to switch cameras here. I can't see. Oh, you said switch equals two equals three. Yes. I'm just gonna do that right now because there we go. Yeah, okay. Dude, it's big on my screen, but I guess not for you, huh? Done. No, I have it on two screens. Here. Oh, mother of trucker. I got an idea. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I just shared the other screen here. I stopped sharing my screen, too. There you go. Oh. Okay. Switch oh. equals three. Yep, zoom in on that. So switch equals three. Got it. Uh, yeah. What do you uh, want me spectr to do? Spectrum mode equals one. Wow, this definitely did not help us, did it? No. Just go full screen and I got it. Where? Uh, Spectrum mode on the motion gate settings under H temp. Where's your I'm cursor? Go down. I am not seeing. Hang on. Was it Spectrum mode? Mm-hmm. Where it says field 10, 10, 10, 10. Oh, hang on. I got to come closer. This is way too small for me to see that big. Um, there you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. So see so spectrum mode? Equals nope. zero, zero. This one? Change that to a one. Okay. Now that I can kind of read it, I got to go back towards my keyboard. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize there was going to be a callus programming. Okay, H temp, make that a seventy-five. Um, where's that at? Right above spectrum mode. This one. Yeah, make that a seventy-five. Um, LED strip, go up a setting, up, 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 up. Where it says LED strip equals zero, make that one hundred and thirty-five. Go down a little bit. LED strip, LED, right there. You're right on it. That one, 135. Okay. Uh, scroll down more to profile zero. Okay. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> oh. 
oh, the settings geez. on the setting on the settings on these are really old. Are really what? They're very old. We're gonna need to update this. We can do it in the next um, video, but we're just gonna ignite it right now. Save this okay. file. Save. Okay. And then uh, make sure you eject it properly. Hang on. Let me close it. All that happy stuff. Yeah, there's no power on settings, which is like this is very out of date. You can update it though. Like, I just have to walk you through it. Yeah, we can do that. Let's eject, right? Yeah. There you go. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right. SD card in the saver. You're muted again, Jim. I can see the little symbol. Cursor. I keep saying that. All night I've said that. All right. You can hear me now? Yep. Okay. SD card in, uh, in, my God. In slot, it goes face down. <laughs> yeah. The little the little pads of the SD card should be facing downward. Okay, it's in and clipped. Okay, okay. now stick a battery in it. Oh god, oh god. You don't have to. You don't. It can be hanging out a little bit. That's fine. Oh, thank you. Um, how do I want to do? Let's do this. You're not gonna. You're not gonna be able to put a sleeve on it. So until you glue glue it down. So stick the battery in. Yep. Moment of truth. Yep. Oh. You sh what should happen so we know what should happen? You should hear a noise, a boot noise. It should go kerching. Yep. That's a good sound. Okay, press the button. Is there, okay. Is there light coming out of the top? No. That's not a good sign. Oh, oh, no. And there's not light here. Yeah. Well, as you saw, it is working kind of. We have sound. We just don't have lights out of the button and the top. You never know what's going to happen in these builds. We think it's probably because of firmware and, and the program on the SD card. So we're going to work on that. So we'll see you guys next time. Part three, we're gonna build the blade for this thing and we're gonna fire it up. And hopefully this thing acts as, as amazing as it feels in my hands right now. So we'll see you next time. If you haven't seen the first one, check out this one right here and we'll see you in part three soon. Later everybody.